Welcome to the OSRS podcast where we talk about RuneScape. I'm in Matt Cat, one of the hosts, followed by. What's going on, boys? Regs is always. And it's me, Rice Cup. All right, all right, quick quick disclaimer I can't use my webcam right now. So I thought the VTube stuff would be a decent replacement because uh, I'm letting my eye heal and I cannot have lights on. So, And we have Mr. Virif as a guest. He's just, you know, Hello. basically our actual fourth host, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, like, none of the people that we ask wants to show up. So, you know, no, nothing against them. Just, you I'm know, couldn't get, it. Here, we couldn't get it. So Always. Virif's going to save the day. <laughs> Yo, thanks for coming on, man. Um, well, I guess we will get into the account security that everyone's been waiting for. I don't know how long you guys have been waiting to have secure accounts, but uh, I've been waiting quite a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there's yeah. also one uh, for Minty specifically that they're addressing for him. Oh, yeah. That he's going to oh, love. Because yeah. I've yeah. been getting um, spam logged for about two years, which means they just take my email and they just put it in like some website and then they pay for it to spam it for two years. And I don't know if that's because I, I took the man's cheeks too many times in the wild or or maybe wow. I, I have no idea, but I'd almost assume that's probably the case. So, so we will go deeper into that, but we'll start with account security though, man. Everyone's been is waiting. That, dude, is that still happening to you? Mm. They still do. Uh, the funny part is they took a break and then I got on stream and it showed me logging in room light and like an hour later, it cut me off and they spammed it again. So I just randomly logged back on room light on stream. So he has to pay for it over and then I just pop back onto steam because, uh, I don't really mind too much, but I just want to make sure the man's out there paying for it, dude. That makes me feel bad. Dude, imagine <laughs> yeah. the plot twist when True. you find out it's actually Dagex the entire time. <laughs> it it's wasn't just, even anything. It's just Archie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh He's my like, God. that's for asking a question back 2017 during TwitchCon, bro. I got his ass. Oh, bro. Oh, dude. I've seen that clip. It's so funny, man. I love that, dude. <laughs> It has to still be on the internet somewhere. What what would it be called for anybody who wants to watch it? I have no idea, but the first TwitchCon I ever went, which is a convention for all Twitch people, RuneScape had a Q&A session. And at the time, you know, all, well, all the time, if you're a content creator in the wild, you will always be harassed by somebody out there, whether it's Snakeskin Man or Ancestral Boy. Someone's <laughs> going to try to tear you to anus with words. So I just I went like, all right. You know, I had to get the courage up, too, because I was scared. I was like... <clears throat> Uh, what are you guys doing about toxicity in the wilderness? And they just kind of blew it off. And I'm like, well, you know, I've been dealing with this for months. I've been stream sniped for like six weeks straight by like a team of 20 before, you know. And then that clip ended up online. And then a clan saw it and they're like, all right, let's hit this man again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, they did. They kind of did just like blow you off. Like, what? I remember watching it. I was like, man, it's, like, it's not like you asked a question that was wrong in any way. It's like, you know, it's quite sincere. And they yeah. just, like, damn, bro. Almost booed off the stage. Like, Dude, and then for the next six years, like I never got a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Give this man a t-shirt, man. Just, just to show okay. appreciation. I guess... Like extra small. Yeah, itchy, we'll, we'll get into like, that particular uh, address. Imagine, imagine enough, if they I guess. do send you a t-shirt one day and they, like, spell your name wrong. I would fucking... <laughs> Dude, I would laugh so bad. I would I, probably... I mean, just call uh, Mintus Mattis, you know? It's been so much, you know, they just ignore me so long, just anything. I'd be like, oh, please, Papa RuneScape, please take me back in your, in your clutch. Um, but I think we're getting horribly off topic. Yeah, and, yeah, should, yeah. should we Sorry, uh, just take turns reading over this blog? Because there's a lot okay. of different points that they're making here. Uh, I yeah. guess, yeah. Uh, I'll start off. I'll go first. Yeah, you can I'll read the first half. Out of the yeah. Way. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, today, I want to share an update on our commitment to level up our account security and services. We know that this is something many of you passionately want to see improved. Old school RuneScape accounts are more than just a game save. They're the embodiment of your adventures, your hard-earned accomplishments, and your valuable time. You want to see that they are protected at all costs and there are clear areas where we can do better. We hear you. In 2019, we set off on a multi-year mission to make long desired improvements a reality. Uh, we were faced with old technologies, spaghetti code, and ultimately a legacy code base was not up to the task. We began the complex endeavor of architect. Archite- you have to help me on this one, boys. Mm. Archite. What does that say? I got this. Yep. Oh my god! How do you know what it is, dude? Is what it? the I... fuck? 
Oh, I man. Got... No, it makes yeah. me so sad when somebody whose native language isn't English has to give me English lessons, man. For Yo, to be fair, dude, nobody uses that word like that. I mean, yeah. I'm going to architect you. Architecting. Oh, yeah, architecting. Wait, mm. ar what does it mean? Architect. It's architect. It's like, like an architect, designing, but, right. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we began the complex endeavorment of designing a new Jagex publishing platform. See, this is the trouble, man. This is when, when you got a company that use big words, it kind of like isolates people that are like me and not exactly like intellectual geniuses. It makes you feel a little bit isolated, dude. Like I'm a bit like, man, I can't read this gibberish. He only like, collects Pokemon cards, down. you know? Exactly. Like, <laughs> put it in plain English. Don't put Simple it in no... Way. Yeah. Like the, the only person who understands this is like Wooks and Solo Mission. Come on. <laughs> right. Are you saying Solo's big brain? No, all right, all right. Anyways, do you remember big. that time Solo Mission explained uh, RNG when it came to hybrid in, <laughs> and it was just like over yeah. All so of the our average heads. rolls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The man is very intelligent. He, he really, yeah. Good luck really with the next part. Anyways, dude. keep going. <laughs> oh, bro, no, is there more? Yeah. The new Jagex publishing platform in parallel with a. Mariad, Mariad, Mariad. What does it say? Mariad. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Keep going. Save a confidence. Of additional efforts to <laughs> to make old scoring scape better and we're finally bringing those improvements to life. Fantastic. Who writ this, by the way? Was it Mod Mac, dude? Mod. Yeah. Who, they they need like a mod rakesy man. I will dumb this down for. Yeah, he's the Mod Mac is the vice president of product and player strategy, which we never really hear from. So this is like interesting. Yeah, I don't think I oh, okay, fair enough. Um, I guess I'll read right. I'll just read up to uh the point where Mint's uh you know yeah, I'll take over relevant the topic comes into play. Maybe. Sorry, here's... I'm sorry for anyone listening yeah. struggling through that. Yeah, I love my reading mm. not so good. Alright, here we go. Here's just some of what's to come this year. All right, first big one, uh, stronger account security. We will be strengthening our password systems to finally support more complex passwords. Yeah, as if you didn't know, it's only lowercase right now. You can't use symbols. While also That's adding ridiculous. additional, yeah, while also adding additional protection to shut down brute force password attempts. Thank you. We're also adding support for multi-factor authentication recovery codes. Should you lose access to your two-factor authenticator device, with our upcoming Jagex account system, we'll also be introducing the ability to link all your characters under a single set of login credentials. That's nice. That that's pretty nice. Assuming the security is really safe, then you guys can make all the accounts you want, and you don't have to be like, "Oh no, I forgot the password for you know Jim Bob at Gmail, or whatever." You know. Oh, well, that's yeah, pretty nice. down, boys. We got them. <laughs> yep. And then uh, we got improved player support center. We know the existing account recovery process can be a point of frustration. Yeah, you gotta literally go on Reddit and hope you get like, enough upvotes. So I'm we, not gonna lie, it's been so long I already forgot they were ever gonna do stuff like this. I know. 2019. Yeah, yeah dude. Crazy. I completely forgot. <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, they've been radio silent forever since yeah. then. And like we were saying before the podcast, Verf, you were talking about like lower numbers in the RuneScape Twitch category, man. Like, I see stuff on Twitter all the time, people getting hacked and desperately like trying to get their accounts. Oh yeah, I see that a lot too. Every day, every Bro, week. Every, so annoying. I get asked I get asked by people that come into my Twitch chat, they're like, hey, I've been hacked for all of my stuff, I'm devastated, can't even get my account back, what do I do? And I'm yeah. just like, I don't know, man, but like, whatever you do do, if you do decide to quit the game, I, like, I can't talk you out of it <laughs> because I would be upset as well. Because that's the worst way to lose anything, isren't it? It's not I've like, you know, you're, you aren't fooled being lured into the wilderness like somebody literally got your password somehow and it's just like it has been such a huge issue with this game forever I, it's I, such yeah, a yeah. hard game i'm still getting emails every away. week i'm still getting those really? emails every week like uh oh your password has been changed on this account <laughs> What, no have you, do you guys get those emails? Yeah, I, yeah. unfortunately no. I don't. But, Jesus I, but I, I've, I've been. Every, I get those every week. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not, I'm I don't. Kidding. But I've been hacked before, so I I know what oh you know. How scary you this shit is. No, it's fake, like, but yeah, it's fake. Can you imagine when Verf turns on his computer and like there's like fifty <laughs> pop ups that just flash across the screen? <laughs> this man's been clicking no, I just, everything. It's uh, just in my spam folder, like just like the fake. Uh, it's a classic. It's a fake. Like, oh, your password has been changed, and then 
It shows you. Dude, a lot of people fall for that though, and that's why they keep doing it. A lot of people fall for that. It looks very real. So, <sighs> you know, yeah. I would be careful out there <laughs> if i saw that because what i'll do is i'll go and change a password on something real insignificant and then i'll wake up the next day to an email like your password has changed and i'll like fucking freak out and this is you <laughs> yeah it's like oh oh yeah oh. Never mind. i'm the one who changed my door dash oh like, my god heart, <laughs> dude, your, your heart sinks when you see that stuff oh you do genuinely true. terrifying because then you know that <clears> hey you've got to spend like the entire day just sorting out everything to do with security, making you emails True, doing all of that stuff. And then there's also like the, have I just lost my bank as well? You know, the yeah. cherry on top of the cake. Mm -hmm. That's so, so you know, annoying, it's horrible. dude. Yeah, Escape yeah. has made me incredibly paranoid for better or worse. And yeah, I don't dude. Know, we have a case here where we can get like everybody on the same case and sue them for just P PTSD, you know, just Yo, from all no, these seriously, dude. Bad. Yeah, You're dude. Never getting that bro. <laughs> Yo, like, that's I, I, crazy, man. Ever since I got hacked, dude, like, man, I, I've I've just realized how how unsafe, you know, even more unsafe, like online even is, yeah. right? Bro, if Rice Cup can get fucking hacked, man, anybody can. Let's be honest. Yeah. No, but luckily, this man's figured out how to do this like background green thing with the avatar. Yeah. This man, like, yeah, anybody can get hacked. Bro, dude, like, yo, like. Even though the guy couldn't get through my pin, he could, <laughs> he still managed to change my name to Two K for you though. So, so you know, still. Wait, what? Wait, what? What was the name? Two K for you. Two, two the letter, you. the number two, gay, and the number four, you, and then the letter U. And you because yeah. because yeah. you could because back then you could just <laughs> log into the website and change the name. You don't need the yeah. pin, right? But like in order to access the bank, you need the pin. But luckily, oh my god, I had a pin on yeah. that account. I and got I, a and mini I banked story. That, that just reminded me of, dude. Um, and it will take a little bit of time. They'll get into the Jagex launcher, which they just did. Uh, but back in the day, you know, I'd, sometimes we'd, we'd have some drinks on stream. We'd get a little crazy. And I don't, I don't do that much no more. But I think it was like around I was 21. I was pure pecan. And, uh, you know, I was talking about Pokemon Go or some shit. I was just gone. And I'm, I'm logging in. I teleport to Karumja instead of Edgeville. And my glory's out of charges. And I'm freaking out like I thought I died. <laughs> so I log out to try to reset my account. It made no sense. And I ended up typing my password really slowly <laughs> into the top bar. And I look <laughs> at it. And I try to log in. Oh my God. And I go, who's hacking my Pokemon Go? <laughs> so I fucking delete it. And I type my password even, even slower the next time. And my whole chat's like, oh please log off, bro. Please get out of here. Please stop. <laughs> yeah, Wait, I, I, yeah. see it? They, oh, it yeah, was on they, the top they bar. It. They it saw it, bro. None of it was hidden. It was it was oh. over. So I log in the next oh, day onto my dude. pure and it and it was named Drunk Forehead. And I was <laughs> like, fair enough, dude. Someone used the bond on my account to change my name. Oh, and then I never did that again. But Yeah, that's yeah. bad. It's bad. It remind me though. Yeah, no, um, I'm always conscious because every week I hear people tell me like like the worst is when you have longtime friends you make. They're like, "Yo, dude, I got hacked. Like my whole bank." I'm like, "Oh my god!" You know, I'm just like, "Dude, I can't say anything yeah. bad. Like I can't say anything much because I'm like, like what do you say? Shit. You, know? you don't. You can't. You're like, I'm sorry. You know, like that sucks. I Literally, and it like, sucks because I have to say that because I can't say anything else. You know, better really. I at least on the bright side, like there's really not a whole lot. To say there's not really games. a bright side <laughs> apart from like you can yeah. leave the game now if you want and like literally it like, sucks so i'll just be like hey man just check out these security tips just in case you know but like honestly right, yeah. it's just like eh, it's, you know it's like it's i tell bad. them they get an authenticator clear your email yeah, run something bad. on your computer they get it's malware bad. away but the, most the times they could be jagex i mean they literally refunded money if everyone forgot about that from the jmod that hacked people yeah they have you freaking those mod people woke up Reno there. to getting a bunch of coins you know for the because they admit it, it's like that yeah, that was a jmod that hacked you you weren't crazy there's nothing you could have done you couldn't have reported back so they all woke up with their gold back and then uh, i remember that day because everyone sold it yeah as yeah, soon as yeah. some back, people are like yo know, icba yeah. yeah i remember that on twitter some of the high profile oh. counts were like oh, nah, i'm I'm not coming back <laughs> it's like so i'm still people who'd be like Yo, you should have protected it better. It's like you can't say that about RuneScape because there literally has been abuse cases where people have lost their accounts to fucking J mods, bro. Not yeah. all of them, but the one kind of crazy. a small yeah, amount. Yeah. But like you know, a lot yeah. of it, it's like it sucks because like for example, you could have all the all the stuff sort up, uh, set up, but if you somehow get a, a rat on your computer, 
It doesn't even matter. They'll still they'll get they'll get everything because they'll see what you do. Dude, I had a rat on my mom's computer when I was like nine fishing lobsters. He cleared me every time I hit level ninety combat. <laughs> yeah, no, like yeah, yeah. I had a CC Dude, member uh, the, who who was ratted, and rat we only found thing, out right. One second. The, the ending and, thing is so scary. It is. It like, is. Dude. When I was fifteen or something, I clicked on a fake bone saw live stream. <laughs> on YouTube, and I didn't know anything about live stream mm. back then, so I was like, "Wow, cool! He streams. Let's go!" So I clicked on the link, and then I got the, the red on my computer, and I had no idea. So, like, I was doing refs at the time, and I had an AGS and like forty mil GP or something. I didn't have too much, but randomly my mouse starts moving and like teleporting. I'm like, "What the fuck? Did I like did I like accidentally like teleport?" So I had no idea what was going on. So I randomly, what happens is my character automatically bangs. Grabs the AGS, everything, <laughs> goes into a different account in front of me, and I was freaking out. Like, I had no idea what the hell was going on. And you're then, like, like, they just, they traded over everything, and that's it. And then they you just didn't go turn off your computer on? No, or you're like, no, you're like, you're like bro. It? Fair I didn't like, know what to do. <laughs> I was just watching. Fair I, had to, I had to unplug my internet, but I didn't know that I was to play. I was like 50. Yeah, so freaking, no Fair was like, dude, am I in an alter reality? Like, virtual reality? It, it's like, I'm in a simulation. All right. Is he going to train my room crew? Where's my AGS going? <laughs> I think, okay, the, the crazy thing is, though, that oh. I wasn't even, like, mad about the AGS or anything. I was like, you know, you know, shit happens. The thing is, they hacked my YouTube at the time. And I never got that account back, and ever that ever since I basically quit the game. So yeah, yeah, that was pretty pretty old school. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know so, honestly, I thought rats were like a thing of the past, but like a year or two ago, one of my one of my CC mods, he uh, you know, he's he 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 like is good with computers and shit, right? Like he made like websites that can track whether or not you're in Dragon Rank for leagues and stuff. It was you know, he's he's smart, but he got ratted somehow, and then he lost his entire account, and, and we only found out that it it was ratted because. He um like one of his one of my uh, CC members who had like a throwaway account told him, "Hey yo, log in on your PC," and guess what? That account instantly got hacked the next day. So the, he knew right away yeah. that shit was a rat, and he had to like re you know reset the whole oh, thing. It's so scary, man. Like, it's crazy. That person, it's so you scary. Get someone to be like, "Hey, log in real quick." Like just sitting there, just plotting. Just I'm gonna grab everything you own. Like oh, it's yeah, just so dude, disgusting. It's, to think it's about. disgusting, dude. Yeah. Mm, dude. And also, also guys, um. On, on the topic of account security, stop playing on other clients that isn't like Rune Light, dude. Because a lot of people use these other clients. You know, I don't want to name them, you know, but like they they are known for stealing accounts. They are known. And they'll do it in a very obscure way. Sometimes they only like clean Iron Man accounts that use those clients. And, and you know what I mean? They, they won't obviously hack everyone because they don't want to like uh, obviously make a huge fuss, right? But they'll, mm -hmm. they'll do it. They'll do it. Like some, some, of, my, some of my viewers just, you know, they... Eh, they just decided you know to use those clients for for a minor benefit, but it's, it wasn't even worth it because they lost their entire like banks, like all all their friends that used that client, all of them. Mm -hmm. The only connection they had was was that client. Lil yeah. sus. Yeah. So yeah. just just don't stick to like rune light. Stick to even the official client, even those trash. You know, just just you know, yeah. just just a lot of things. If it's too good to be true, it most likely is. Okay. It's a good for disclaimer, real. dude. And I'm telling people like, um, and I want to get into this launcher as well. Just one disclaimer, real quick. People play private servers, especially in the wildernesses like this. I heard they're popping. What do you think those are? Those are pretty much rats that yeah, you play. Yeah, probably, most likely. You know, you can enter your credit card info and whatever, buy their stuff. Be careful, bro, okay, with those. Even when you're going to look at RuneLight, make sure you download the right RuneLight. I mean, these people are smart. They'll take your ass yeah. for everything, bro. Yeah, right, watch so, out for RuneLight with the one in it, dude, you know? Yeah. I know a lot of people fell for the RuneLight one. It's like, yeah, the... It's like not even Rune Knight, the word itself is wrong. It's kind of like the... Like the .org or something. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's like yeah, a lot of people fell for that one. Yeah, I know yeah that. They, can literally, they can literally be the same because they're like proxies. And it's like, it's, it's like on top of Google because they advertise it. So it's like yeah. the advertisement yeah, it so it gets pushed up. It's so, oh, it's so tricky. Google, yeah, so, Google right, just sees so, money and puts it up. Yeah. This is the best. Right, so seriously though, for real, I did this on stream to test it. If you type in Rune Light, the first time I typed it in, there were two scam rune lights that were yeah. above the official one. I refreshed the page, didn't get the same adverts, and it was the official one at the top. So if anybody goes to download it, like just be very cautious of whether it's an ad or if it's yeah. I, I think one. it's on the main website now that you can uh, find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they did yeah. that, didn't they? Yeah. So yeah, if you're, you're gonna right. download rune light, just go on oldschool.runescape.com. Google isn't your friend. Facebook's not your friend, dude. We can do a no. Whole the suck has never been your friend. 
mm-hmm. tech boys, bro. Yeah. Be careful. We, we never we never spoke about that, but like that's so significant that Jagex added room light to their actual it is, it is. website. Like, well, that's, let me that's let huge. me jump into this real quick then. Uh, the Jagex launcher they just finally opened. In case you guys were on the Steam client like I was and tried to do a one hour Wednesday and disconnected twelve times in an hour. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that video. Next, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, I didn't live. Not yeah, much I saw I that. Live Spoiler. There, so. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> spoiler. So, uh, if you were tired of that, now you can look forward to the Jagex launcher, which I am now using. It's a little launcher you play RuneScape three on. You can play the vanilla client on, and I believe you can use RuneLight on there. You just got to do some configging. That's what um, Elliot told me. I haven't done that yet, but the regular old school client on there um, will still lock you out randomly. It will. It happens maybe every forty minutes. I don't know if it's dangerous or not, but it. I, I have to reload it. So um yeah it's a beta i think it is a beta pretty hard on beta so i've been using it for a while and i just wanted to throw that out there i don't know if it's dangerous but it does log out randomly not too often but yeah be be careful use rune light if you can on the launcher um for real man and i I feel like we all have a really good handful of stories to talk about ratting hacking all all these bad things um so maybe like we'll get through this page and we'll just talk about them for a bit. Um, and then maybe, you know, the viewers, if you guys have had some situation where you've been ratted or you've been, I don't know, even scam traded or anything, just give us a story down below. Because honestly, these stories are, are sad, but uh, kind of nostalgic a little bit. Oh, you want me to go all the way down? All right. Well, that's all I got about the launcher. Um uh, they said they've upgraded their cyber resilience on their hardware and their software level to protect against uh, this as well. For their oh, that's reinforcement protection of character data. Sorry, I scrolled down a little too much. Um, the login lockout was a perfect storm of number failure points. For those who remember when you could not log in, it was on RuneScape three and old school that linked your account. That lasted for half a half a month, I think, man. Maybe a little less for some people. Um, Mm, yeah so um it, that was crazy and they don't want that to happen again so they've signif- uh, they significantly upgraded their cyber resilience on their hardware and software uh to protect against this meaning your data is going to be i guess locked in kind of like a blockchain but probably shittier <laughs> so whatever their spaghetti code can handle it's at least better they're also doing the war on bots which uh, i'm not sure how this war is going because i always see them still they're just chilling they're really just minding their own business um, but bots are a detrimental factor to their experience. In 2020, we shut down RS bots. They're actually doing name drops, which is kind of cool. So that must have been a big component, RS bot from the PowerBot website, uh, which is zero tolerance in both approach and out of game. And right now they're banning about 100,000 bots per week. I don't see them though. So I wonder if they stop banning them. I just see a lot more. I don't know. Yeah, because I've been seeing a lot of baby bots. Like at Callisto, I'm like, oh, I can't attack him. He's level 84. He's training on Callisto to grow up to level 100. And they'll still get to level 100. Right? Honestly, bot, talking about bots, I haven't, like, a lot of bots are hidden lately. Like, I just see them in super weird places. Because when I'm doing, like, dude, I see bots every single day when I'm doing Seracnos. They're at Red Spiders. They are at, like, freaking those uh, Undead Druids in the Forthos dungeon. Like, no one, not too many people go there, but there's, like, two bots in every world. So, like, that adds up quickly. Yeah. They're everywhere. So, I mean, they are so you guys think 100,000 bots per week. Like, how many of those do you think are free to play? Probably a lot. Probably most. A lot of them. Right? Hmm. I'd assume they're the easiest to catch, too, because they're probably just created. They're probably not yeah. getting these accounts with stats. I'd assume. And, and also, right. to be fair, there's a lot of bots that go undetected because they're just custom you know like new custom scripts that hasn't been reported before in mass so those guys go scot-free they can probably get to like a really high level stats right and it'll take a while before like it ever gets caught yeah but yeah so like, do you think there's like master like computer geniuses making bots out there that are like not detectable we're talking Dude, about the like most bots. crazy mm, absolutely bots, like, yeah absolutely change my mind the most crazy bots in the game are the lms bots like i don't know how they are a thing like they're yeah, freaking I, dude, insane. They're, like legit, legit terminators. Like yeah, there's some there, there's some code monkeys out there that just love. <laughs> some of them just love to you Crazy. know make these things right. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes they feel powerful, right? Because 
they just can do just imagine you're like some dude sitting there and you're just like i'm just gonna make a runescape bot today you sit on like millions already from all your quest bots or whatever you just got this fat fucking brain yeah do you just stack your money and just keep making bots like what what's the end goal bro yeah yeah, that's more of a philosophical you know know, i I, i've had like some experience and run-ins with people who um like do the coding for bots and also for uh like private servers and stuff because I, I think it goes without saying, like, and I don't endorse or encourage this in any way, shape, or form, but there have been some good and kind of cool things that have been added to private servers, which is like, damn, like, that would actually be kind of cool in old school RuneScape. Um, but, like, from the conversation I remember having with this one guy who was doing stuff like that, he didn't actually have any, like, he, he didn't have any dark intentions of, like, ruining the game. Like, it wasn't even about that. It was just, a like, a creative thing to see how far he could get something and make it to do what he wanted to do. And then people would kind of take it and use it for evil. Yeah, that, makes that sense. often that like, does happen. Yeah, It wasn't his, like, intention for it to be used in that way. But it just mm. so happened that the wrong people got hold of it and that they did. You know, not, you know, not saying it's good or bad, but, like, I just think that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Because, you know... <laughs> It's like the people who use things to like abuse the game most of the time. It's because there's some sort of financial incentive. Oh, I've a hundred percent. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd imagine. And most of the botting definitely comes down to the fact that yeah, you know, people buy the gold and you get the money out of that, right? So, Gracie, yeah. yeah. what you say kind of reminds me of an old saying: like uh, the pathway to hell is paved with good intentions, right? Yeah, you know, it's, it's like it's yeah. very true. Right, it's it's kind of cool that uh, there's so we need like a vigilante bot maker that like interrupts bots with their bots, you know, like in the rev caves. Oh. All you got to do is show up with a skull, and those bots log out, so they can oh. just have like skull bots log in and out of that spot and just just mess up their whole farm. You know, we should. <laughs> people, people did start doing something like that. Do you remember when people were getting lured in PvP for their banks, and then every bank you went to that was like in a random location, like, they would fix it slowly. Outpost, around grid there was um there'd be a level three account there that would be spamming this oh is yeah like yeah oh, yeah scamming please like this place isn't safe leave now yep like, <laughs> some people were doing that i don't know if they got banned or not i don't know yeah we need we need more of that we need these geniuses to start building stuff to create and help right in this game because i don't know never mind the thing is like i feel shirt. like i feel like a lot of them and hopefully they're spending their time doing something which is more meaningful <laughs> to be honest it's like if they're able to come up with like this like world's changing script or something it's On like spaghetti code it could, yeah it could probably be used for more than just saving people from stepping into the wilderness just my you know, opinion you know it was a fun fact about those bots you were talking about in a bank that were like spamming that you know in a pvp world if you like because i played a pvp locked account for a long time right those bots are actually not used to lure the people but just to scout people getting lured and then they anti-lure the lures that's what the bots are used for which is pretty interesting i think cyber warfare has gone to such a level oh my but it's, God. it's linked to a discord the, the those bots are actually linked to a discord and the discord pings out names values and people that basically are in those banks it's kind of crazy yeah 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 the bro uh, also yeah no the scout bots and stuff i mean that's not necessarily account security but um you know they, they they do that all all the time in like the 2k 2.2k total worlds there's literally a freaking guy in edge foam his name's literally rot scout bot he's scold up and shit basically don't go to the edge foam that world because like if you do they know you're going to the wildy and they'll find you instantly. Ah, yeah 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 <laughs> i see <laughs> yeah. I will say, I, I know we haven't finished this yet. I'm a little bit disappointed though that they haven't mentioned under botting uh, people that are using scripts or like we discussed, like the last man standing bots, AHK, and stuff like that. Like they haven't addressed that, which is a little bit disappointing, yeah. to be honest. Yo, my, I think if they maybe, could address it, they yeah. might, but I don't think they Yo, have a chance I, to have an answer yeah. yet. Yeah, no, yeah, no I. Do my... you know what it probably is? It's probably because it's so insignificant in the sense of like. Well, firstly, there's barely PvP updates to begin with, so it's like, why would they then spend yeah. resources trying to like fix a very small margin of like? Yeah. To, to be fair, knowledge? to be fair, this topic is most was mostly about a, um, you know, account security, and then you know, but like, but like, I think I think they they'll probably address the other parts too because they are doing that PvP arena right, and like you said, they can't really do it properly unless they 
get the client stuff um you know it's never in stopped them before man That's right the... but like i you know the whole launcher thing is interesting i, I wonder what what really is there, there's gotta be more benefit to the launcher other than just like consulting your accounts together and stuff right you like, hope there's like a master plan, right? Yeah, like, like I the would only hope... way to really build the foundation yeah. is to get rid of those bots and all these scripters and shit. If you yeah, want because to build an actual game, because like a lot of these clients that are you know custom clients like cheat clients, they they are Runelite based. So I wonder what happens if you know I don't know the technology behind it, right? But like what what happens with the launcher, right? What if there's a way where basically you can only play RuneScape through the launcher, right? And then, like, I those clients think, can't work, yeah. maybe, right? I, I that's just think, a theory. That's just an idea. Maybe yeah. they'll announce I don't think that will happen, that. because Jagex are very aware of how popular RuneLight is. No, no, but, like, the launcher has RuneLight, though. That's the thing. Yeah. You can oh, do right. yeah. 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 You got to do some weird coding, I figured out. But, like, but like they no, they are planning. Like just... Um, if I, if I remember, it's pretty true. They are planning on adding act the RuneLight into the launcher. So I wonder oh, if that's going to be like a later address where they're like, maybe. Uh, you know, because of this and that, uh, you can no longer, you know, log in unless you are using the launcher. And, and ho maybe the launcher code is like that good. The security is that good that you they can't just like modify it, you know, to run mm -hmm. on like modified rune lights. I, I don't know. That's just a no. theory. That's just a theory. Yeah. That's just a theory. And then what have we all been waiting for is that rune light becomes the main launcher you know it's like 2022 is the year of common sense where everything we've wanted for the last five years are like oh we'll start working wow, on that together shit. you know <laughs> just go together yeah, you know, you, yeah. like wow really you, you, yeah, never mind all right i'm gonna rant uh yeah, yeah, so let's on. continue the the war on bots here dude um so we talked about the rs bot from the power bonding website getting shut down but let's uh, also talk about rwt so protecting the economy is something that is great importance, you know. Uh, we expand our efforts to tackle RWT. We begin to target the real demand by issuing warnings, timed bans, and permanent bans to cold buyers. So usually if you're a gold seller, you're gone. And if you're a gold buyer, you, you know, get like a chance or two. Do, do, you know, do you know what? I read this earlier, and as soon as I read that, I was just like, so if you're going to buy gold, make sure you buy a lot of gold the first one time, time. <laughs> you don't have to do it again so you're thinking like buy it right now or Rick you're never getting it again Just, Rick Rick cash band. on the spot first time that's it and then you should be good after the, after this podcast gold prices just dude i've not had my first warning yet so i'm good to go man <laughs> just go grab go grab max cash real quick Fuck it. now i'm, I'm not joking, a fan of rwt of course but i do gotta say like it is a bit ironic that if you were to have any russian stocks or ruples if you would have just put your money into Armadale God Swords or Bulwarks, you'd actually be up like 5x from your money since the war started. <laughs> it's been a better safe value keep. So, Mint's brain is 90% investing in flipping. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, RW, don't do it. It's bad unless you're in Russia, apparently, or Ukraine. Uh, we've issued 38,000 warnings to ban players. So you only get a warning, apparently, unless you get banned. Sorry. We've been continuing to target the RWT uh supply by shutting down sellers and they they list some more names which is cool because they usually never list names so arceus and bogola gold uh, <laughs> i know those from just like me you know bogola it's just fun to <laughs> say i don't know arse arceus arceus i think it's arceus it's yeah not, it's not pokemon arceus okay. no yeah, no a no Pokemon. No, our, 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 should probably change dude, there's an e there's an e in arceus this is right, Ar my arceus bad. my bad arceus sorry oh. they're gonna start stopping the payments over through paypal my bad boys uh, <laughs> We have 18 more shut down over the past year, so they're just taking down all the competitors, boys. This might be your last chance, dude. No, no, no stop promoting gold buying. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. <laughs> ever, ever since Razy said it, bro, it's just funny. Uh, Bogla, so don't buy. No, don't buy. <laughs> Committed to redesigning the dual arena as it accounted for 38% of our uh, oh, RWT Oh, that's, that's, that's an interesting number. 38% yeah, is... Well, I, honestly, I believe that. I, I, I do believe that. That's a pretty sizable. Yeah, I think so. I believe that number as well. Yeah, it's pretty huge. Yeah. Uh, one thing you may not know is that frag fraudulent payments are a part of third party gold sales in RWT too. So fraudulent. So if you buy gold, you don't get the gold, or you like, I don't know. We've introduced. Yeah, what the, a wait, wait, wait. Yeah. What does that what, mean? What does that mean, dude? See, Rexy, it's not your fault they use big, complicated words. I think they uh, use well, them. I mean, so fraudulent is a, it's, it's, well, it's like a legal term, you know? Oh, like no, you I commit. Know what the word means. Yeah, no, but it's but more what, like. But what does this spaghetti sentence mean? One right. thing what you may not know is that like... fraudulent payments are part of third party gold sales and reward trade, too. They're saying that a lot of the sales are fake, are, are like scams, you know? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what 
they're but insane. It's very vague. In which mean, which means that like it's it's a it's a sort of crime because like some people you know they'll be like, all right, I bought this amount, but then you don't actually get it, right? So so, so yeah, you know yeah. so then there's like mm. that you know that, that crime. Being, a lot. No, absolutely, because these guys are scumbags. They they'll do whatever. A lot of them yeah, are, yeah. you know, they'll do whatever. Yeah. You sure, right. dude? Continue reading, because like okay. I just read ahead, and it still does that context doesn't make sense to me. Sorry, in my mind, I was just playing that commercial where it's like you wouldn't steal a car, and why steal a movie, and then the music comes on. <laughs> oh, that. <good>. <laughs> That's <laughs> um, an old one. That's an old one. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. So uh, one thing you may not know is fraudulent payments are part of the third party gold sales RWT two to combat combat this. We've introduced a top of the range system to track and block fraudulent payments which will limit the incentive for bad actors. So how are they going to block fraudulent payments? Are they going to log yeah. onto my PayPal or are they going to like log onto my account and like track the account or like, Yeah, I guess they have some monitoring uh uh, yeah. uh software upgrades or something, mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. What do you think, Verf? What do you make of this? Yeah, well, I mean, it has I feel like it they're referring to something in game, not the actual yeah. like mm-hmm. account which I mean, I think uh, it's some they software. To, so it's, they, well, they'd have to be, like, because how would they have any access yeah. to anything else, right? Yeah, my, it, I, had, I feel like it's kind of the same as just normal tracking, like people that are potentially involved in, like, I don't know, RWT stuff, right? I like how they say top of the range. I was going to say, like, why yeah. did they call it top of the range? Is this like a, a, um, a bluff? To get people yeah. to stop selling bro, gold. Like, hey, dude, don't Ma- do it. Top of the range. Yo, Ma- Ma- Matt's got some vocab, bro. You know, he's got some vocab. I will say, it just means like that it's vocab. a it's an uh, updated system, right? Updated monitoring system of sorts. Yeah. Was it not updated before? I mean, I get, yeah, it sorry, clearly wasn't. I, 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 I'm still. I am. Like, I am not gonna lie, man. This that whole like paragraph there does not make any sense to me. I don't understand what they're talking about. Was there other botting not top of the range tracking? Were we just dealing with like the inferior? Clearly, tracking, now clearly. Upgraded? Yeah, clearly it was inferior to this current one, top of the range. Be- <laughs> Sorry, before, botters. before it was below the range. Now it's top. Dude, of the range. I don't listen. One of you needs to do a better job of explaining this to me. Oh yeah, because I'm not understanding what the fuck this mod Matt K or whatever his name is is rub out. So we have this problem every post though is because how vague their literature is when describing yeah. stuff. <laughs> it's a, literally the second part of this says to combat this, we've introduced a top of the range system to track and block fraudulent payments, which will limit the interact in, in, uh, incentives for bad actors to attempt stealing accounts. So <clears throat> that's a mouthful. Like, yeah, yeah. No, that part I, account, I do. Like, yeah. What does that even mean? What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bro, has anyone here actually bought or sold gold? Like, what info do you give those people? They log on to your shit. Like, like, <laughs> block. What, what do you steal? Yeah, like, accounts, like, yeah. And I think, like, I think Rixie's trying to understand. What do you mean by block fraudulent payments? Yeah. What do you mean by all of this? Shit? And how does yeah. it have anything to do with my my accounts? my guess? My guess is that they have some sort of software system that actually connects to like other billing systems, like from other companies. You know, you know, like companies that handle the billing. Of like transactions the of money. The only way I could see them tracking stuff is through crypto. So are they tracking Bitcoin transactions now through yeah, like RuneScape like, trades? Maybe. So so maybe because maybe they have when some. A friend got paid for that yeah. server. Sorry to interrupt. He actually yeah, got go paid ahead. Bitcoin. So mm. I wonder. I will. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, that like, could be a part probably. of it. That could be part of a comprehensive thing. Like my my guess is that maybe their software now is is uh you know more um holistic, right? Like it can tie activities that they monitor in game in relation to transactions i guess that happens outside of the game can we get mod mat you know what i mean totally like 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 for example i don't know maybe, maybe they have some sort of you know like connection with the billing services like paypal or something that they can like you know somehow algorithmically tie no, dude, and detect that no shit way, i don't know there's no <laughs> way no gold sites could, like legally no they wouldn't be able to like give out that information I almost guarantee you there's either a cash on ramp for these gold sites, which is super easy. I'm not I'm not sure what it would be. Yeah. Or or crypto wallets. You know? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. There's something there's something that connects the, the the billing and the game, I guess, together. And like, that's the what they should be maybe they don't want to give that info. Yeah, yeah they can't they say. Don't... They can't say too much. It's gotta be vague, I guess. I, I think All I right. think it's purposely vague. So that you know, that that we're we're left like, here speculating. The, right. The thing I, I understand, right? We've introduced the top of the range system to track and block fraudulent payments. I get that, right? But the second part, 
which will limit the incentives for bad actors to attempt stealing accounts. I don't know how those well, two tie Well, beca because if you Fair steal enough. accounts, you get the money, what you sell, the money, to people, right? Right. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's how that goes. Because, like, most, most hacks aren't because people are jealous of your Inferno game. They want to play an account with Inferno game. They just want to take all your shit and sell it to someone. Sell so it for gold. So are they talking to Inferno Cape sellers? Because that makes a lot more sense. They'd be on the account. They'd yoink your gold. But how would they track that? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's some sort of AI, right? That kind of like picks up on, oh, this activity looks like a hack. All right, let's refer back to some payments that happened recently. You're you know, just this hacker like doing this Inferno Cape. And on the very side, you see this like fucking rock and you right click and it just says Archie. And you're just like, oh, no. It's like, <laughs> Bro, I, I'm honestly, <laughs> that, I don't know, I, man. That's my I'm guess. I'm going to actually tweet that at this guy and be like, do you mind clarifying what the fuck this means? <laughs> yeah, English, yeah. Please. Honestly, it might be purposefully vague, too. Honestly, they're always purposely vague um, because yeah. I, I think, you know, a lot of People are purposely vague when giving out announcements just because, I mean, yeah. sometimes they don't want to give you everything, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. thing is, if something can't be simply explained, I instantly think to myself, well, it, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Like, they can't even explain it themselves. Like, yeah. Well, I don't think they want to actually give you the full detail, because then it, it might give the, you know, the, the people that do real trade a, 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 a leverage, you know, to avoid it or something, you know? Bro, but this is literally, so. this is like some kind of riddle. Like, this this just <laughs> isn't making sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean... I, Am I the only person here that doesn't understand this? Are you guys like... No, I, I only understand it at a, in a general way. But, like, I don't understand it in a nuanced way. And that's okay, I guess, because, you know... I understand I, it as much as I understand American politics. Which means I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> yeah, uh, like, like, basically, I understand that... They probably aren't giving out specifics because it's too dangerous for for them to do it. Probably is what I'm looking for. Nah, they always be like that. They love. They love. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, sometimes it it's annoying because of other reasons, but this time it's more like because of security secrets. You know, they they can't talk about it like that, which makes sense in that regard. Maybe, right. maybe, maybe. We, well, we, we if anybody also. watching the podcast knows what this means please if we could just get a jmod on that is uh willing to actually, spoil the beans you know spill the beans yeah to, to get a little deeper into this man i feel like everyone feel a bit better on the botting situation the security situation all of these things man that'd be perfect i'd love yeah. to get somebody on a bit talk deeper about that but yeah until then we yeah everyone yeah. wants to do the closing <clears throat> verf, verf, verf. oh is it, are we already closing dude? yeah we're done this is the closing all right let's see in closing, we are fully committed to making all school runeshape progressively better and the fruits of multiple years of efforts will be realized this year. This year. Okay, okay. This year. Members of the team will be joining the old school runescape live stream this Thursday. Uh wait, that was today. Yeah, that was today. Ooh, wanna wanna hear what they have to say? <laughs> Go into this in even more detail. Okay, so maybe they explain some of the stuff in the live stream today? Mm, yeah. Potentially, I, I mean, it must it. have already. Did any of you watch it? Did no, any of you no. watch it? I didn't. I did not get to, get around to it. Okay, but yeah, we hmm. can probably have probably. a follow up next stream. Maybe about like a it. yeah, yeah, or or maybe a link to like the to like the live stream or something, the pad, the broadcast or something. Yeah, we can put that down below for anyone who wants to watch. But if people still yeah. have more questions about this stuff. Yeah, topic, I guess. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We can do a round two in a in a future uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. podcast mm -hmm. to kind of. I feel like you can talk about this subject for hours, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so. some of the biggest, you know, I mean, just imagine if everyone who wasn't hacked at RuneScape still played. I mean, we'd all right. be pretty Thousands. big, right? Probably. And maybe they wouldn't all be playing Tens right now, but I, you don't really quit RuneScape unless uh, you get your ass cheeks clapped by uh, like a rat or something. That's the only way you quit. Yeah. Because no one wants to log back onto a sad, empty account. Yeah, that's some PT. That's some real. That's some you know actual. Unfortunately, PTSD unfortunately, shit. a lot of people do though. Mm. <laughs> they get hacked. Every they lose everything. They they you know. I'd say it's like half half. Nothing. Yeah, it's like half half. Honestly, that, I guess. Yeah. Well, that's, no... that's the true addiction. Or they make right? an Iron Man. Or they make an Iron Man, and yeah. they like well, <clears throat> never playing a main again. I feel like a lot of people do that. Too. Yeah, well, my friend's Iron, Iron Man, Man guy hacked. You know, after he did that. Yeah, so <laughs> if that happens, it's over. It's you know. So yeah, like, like half of the people. Iron yeah, half of the people that you know have been hacked. That that that's told me like half of them come back, but the other half just yeah yeah same. They don't same. come back. No. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't blame them because I was playing any other game and I got wiped. I wouldn't even. 
uh, go through the security steps, right? If it wasn't RuneScape, I wouldn't even go past. I just go, okay, never again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any uh, other game, if my shit's gone, I walk away, dude. That just one. Yeah, I, like a lot of other crazy. games just don't have like materialistic, like, um, like you know, like attachment, right? You're not. You just do the game for the actual moment, right? You don't like yeah, which makes collect. it hurt even more, you know. Or my like some hackers will drop your intradables and like unredeem your pets. Yeah, you know? like, like RuneScape's where, where hard. Man. Go, you know, it's, it's like a part hard, of you, man. you know, part <laughs> of you just got oof, ripped away from you, pretty much. Yeah, it's rough, man. Yeah, I think it just depends on how deep the vein of addiction really goes, you know. Or the or you can call it passion, you know, right? <laughs> well. I, well, passion. Wait, oh, that's a very blurred line. It is. Addiction or addiction. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit no, of both. Exactly. Someone, yeah. someone, someone actually asked me that question like a few weeks ago. Are you addicted, like, are you just you addicted to RuneScape? It's like, well, yes. Well, officially, they say addiction means you can't live without, right? Like you, but like it's not really like you guys can easily not play for like a week or two weeks or whatever, right? Like, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Are you addicted yeah. or it's, not? It's like it's kind of weird. It's like yeah. a weird topic. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. No, I, I would say yeah. I would say yes, but also no. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not truly addicted. No, you know, I'm not truly addicted. But I've definitely been addicted. Like when I was younger, addicted, I was 100 yes. percent addicted to this game. Oh, absolutely. I'd say I'm more passionate nowadays than I like actually addicted. I feel like I've I've been able to like indulge as a content creator for this game for long enough, where I've kind of just had that ultimate high. You know, it's like I've had it. I've had the good times. You yeah, know, it's just like I'm just yeah. passionate about it. Again. Yeah, I kind of miss when I was addicted, like a kid. But at the same time, I don't because yeah. it was so bad. You know, like even when when my eyes were like, like just freaking straining, I'd be like, "Yo, I'll just I'll just close my eyes for five minutes and I'll play again." You know, like it was like oh bad. You know, how good were you people at this game, bro? No, I wasn't. I wasn't good. My memories, I'm like chopping down goblins. Yeah, that's literally all I did. I was like. Yo, if I if I if I chill for five minutes, I can cut some new logs and just look at that shit for like an hour. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely don't want to go back to the addiction time because like at that yeah. point, no one else mattered in life. Like it was just a game, and that was bad. Like, yeah, if, you, no, if was... that's going on, it's bad. Basically, yeah. So. I used to have dreams about RuneScape like every every night, bro. I remember, <laughs> like, I know exactly like my mindset and like the time when I was really addicted to the game. I remember when I was in a uh, secondary school uh high school for you guys i think i was probably like maybe 12 or something and um i was doing horror from the deep i was a complete noob it was way back in the day i used to use like rune hq to be able to like look up everything and i i remember i took uh i think it was like a dragon skimmy an obsidian shield obsidian obsidian cape and full rune and that was a lot and i think i had like i think i had a dragon med helm on or something and you know what i might even have had a d long i can't remember i was a noob i probably hadn't done monkey madness anyways uh, I ended up dying to the um, the Dagonoff boss, and this was back when the item that was protected was the high elk value. So I uh, lost the Orbi yeah. Cape and the Shields, <clears throat> both of which were like 400k each, and back then that was loads of money. And um, I remember crying, bro. I remember being so <laughs> upset and crying. so distraught, I cried. <laughs> and then... I remember my mum was like, all right, Tom, you got to come off the computer. And I, I ran all the way back to the lighthouse. All of my shit had despawned or an instant or something. And I went to bed and I literally, but this is, this is where the addiction kicks in. I went to sleep, couldn't sleep, went to school the entire day. And the whole day I was just thinking about what I was going to do to make back that obby shit. <laughs> that was all I was thinking about. Yeah, no. When you're a kid, bro, addiction is 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 easy. You don't like that's addiction not, it's, is key. Yeah, you know, it's just not. It's just second nature, bro. Addiction, being a kid, second nature, bro. You don't even doubt it. You just do it. Oh yeah, yeah. I agree. Now, yeah. You, you were talking about RuneScape dreams, dude. Has everyone here had a dream about RuneScape? Oh, I, I've oh. probably had countless, but I can't remember. I had many when I played my ultimate. Like I would just, I would just <laughs> randomly, I would just be dropped in a situation in my dream. I look, I would, I would be deep wilderness, two brudoses, like all of my inventory <laughs> falls off my like PVM gear and shit, and I can't do anything. Like a team is running at me, I can't teleport. It's just like, it's like I had dreams like that. It's weird. That sounds like a nightmare, bro. It don't sound like a dream. <laughs> Yeah, getting wiped yeah. in my ultimate, basically. <laughs> you ever had, like, a happy yeah. dream, dude? I think we should all share our, our most, uh, the best dream, man. Or, I guess, in uh, verse, mm, a nightmare. I've never had happy nightmare. dreams, actually. Jesus Christ. It's dude. always dry streaks, like, dreaming about getting items that I never got in the game, or dying on my on my ultimate. 
I mean, your content is like pretty, like it's excruciate, excruciatingly hard to do. So maybe you're just forcing yourself too much in hard content. It comes out in your dreams, dude. Just I, your worst yeah, dreams. no, my dreams are 50 50. But I haven't, I don't think I've really dreamed much about RuneScape in, in, in some time. But, same, um, same. I don't yeah, know. Nothing I, major? Probably a good thing. <laughs> I, 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 so I was speaking about this in my chat the other day. I have, and I believe the term is lucid dreams. Oh, uh, I do. I, I get am, some real ones. I'm, it's bad. I'm yeah. very aware of yeah. being in a dream. Like, I know and I can't that I'm wake dreaming. up. I can't wake up. <laughs> well, oh, this is yeah. the thing. I, with me, I can, like, kind of control what happens. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's, like, yeah. I, I basically have control of what's going on. So, yep. but I, I'll tell you something. So, this is back when I was super addicted. I used to dream every single night that I would get 99 magic. I don't know why. I, I don't know no why. Way, dude, no way, No way. I was like obsessed with getting 99 mage. This was back when money was so hard to make. And 94 mage was huge because that was brand. 99 no magic was You're like. like <laughs> you're like every day every day you're sleeping you're dreaming you're, every day you repeat you you go you're getting like a magical repeat mate i'm not even kidding right and this the thing is right because i got lucid dreams as well no i could kind of i could kind of make that dream happen every yeah. night <laughs> every day, you know, why so, were they wet like dreams bro or... <laughs> no but this is this is the thing this is this is when i got really concerned because Dude, i had the man... dream he wakes up like what this man can dream everything he wants, and he dreams <laughs> getting nine on magic every day. Dude, that's wholesome. That's wholesome, dude. Bro, it, it helped me sleep, man. It was comforting to me. I don't know why, but the, the thing that concerned me, and it really did, was one day I actually got nine on magic, right? And then I was like, do the dream stops? And they just never stop. I got nine on magic every night. <laughs> like, for hell? years. How do you just years, like, No, I can't, I can't dream the same dream. No, I'll I'm tell you. A lot, a lot of my dreams start start out unpredictable. What it is, but then it gets lucid, and then I can do something in it. You know, I'm that. Yeah. I'm that. Right. Yeah. Do something like, very, if you're truly well, half, the time, lucid half, dreaming, the half the time, you do th certain things in real life, like every day, and then in your dream, like for example, if you write like the letter A on your hand in your dream, there's no like there's no letter A on your hand, right? So it's you, blurry, you, right? Well, you check your hand, and then you would see something else, for example, and then that moment you know you're dreaming, and that's when you activate like the lucid thing. It's activate kind of lucid dream. See, or, like, do you, I have that in my dreams, and I get so mad I can't read shit. I'm like, am I fucking dumb, dude? I'm just like <laughs> just sitting there, and I'm just like angry as shit in my dreams because I can't read, and I never get past that part. You should yeah, yeah, like look I at guess. clocks. <clears throat> I don't have no clocks <laughs> in my dreams. <laughs> uh, dude, I had a dream the other day, so I've been playing a lot of Escape from Tarkov, right? And I've been learning like the end game, which is a, a it, it's a map which is called Labs, right? Mm. Laboratory, mm. and only only the scariest, biggest fucking chads go on that map. Like I'm like, bro, these kids are crazy, man. Like they've been playing this game for like years. They will fucking headshot you from a wave like the other side of the map. They're nuts. And I I had a dream the other day. It was like a hybrid dream. Hybrid. I was, oh. I was looting. I, no, seriously, I was looting. Um, like you get like cases, and the game is a weapon case. And mm. I was looting it, and I found a third age plate body. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Yeah, yeah, dream time with Rexy. Dream time with Rexy. And, and then my dream turned into a nightmare because I was like, I had two minutes to get out, and there was some dude chasing me, and I didn't know where I had to go, and it was, yeah, it was fucked up, man. It was like and a then, hybrid you, between two. And then you dreamed it again the next day. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's I crazy. I can never dream the same dream. It's like it's always fucking different, man. I've I've had one really weird RuneScape dream in my life that just stayed with me, and it was was like back in high school or something, dude. I had this crush on this girl. Damn. And we're in the school library, just sitting there, which was weird because I never go in the library. I've never rented a book in my life. I just never ever. And uh, he does, he like, does she that. really wants his book, dude. Right? <laughs> She asked me, hey, you gotta give me this book. So I walk up to the librarian, bro. And she was giving me some attitude, right? Librarian would not let me get this book. So I hit her with an ice barrage AG, <laughs> dumpstered her ass, dude. And it was weird. Wait, did her like, bone spawn? Did her bone spawn or something? Like, what happened was I hit her at AGS and like kind of flew up and it landed. And then it was a fucking wig, some bones, and the book, right? 
So I loot the book and I make my way back to the table and there's just like 12 black girls with dreads and they just start going like, what's up, Mindy or Michael <laughs> back then, you know, that's my name. And, and then I fucking wake up because the girl I had a crush on was like, looked like uh, Oprah Winfrey or something. It was the weirdest <laughs> dream. I just woke up and that stayed with me for 10 years. What the hell? Damn. <laughs> okay. Yo, should we talk about the RuneCraft mini game or save that for another stream? <laughs> yeah, we can talk about it. <laughs> I'm yeah, the, sure. I mean, I'm the only one that that played it though, right? I want right. to. I saw about... you play it. I saw you play it. Yeah, I was, I was gonna I... talk about with the rollbacks that. Happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys can talk about the rollbacks. Oh, yeah. yeah, there was a oh, rollback yeah, with uh, that mini game on like the first hour, right, or something. Or something yeah, like, like I, I was, I basically, I was online, and then half an hour before the update hit, I. I got a clip of me saying like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I watched that. Pretty often stuff goes wrong, so you know, let's hope everything goes right. I don't want to play GeoGuessr again all day. <laughs> and then, and then, and then the update happens. Like, okay. And then randomly, I see this guy in my chat. He said he's saying like, yo, I can pick some. I, I can pick up some untradeables like Assembler, Inferno Cape. I, I was like, nah, nah, he's trolling. Like, <laughs> please tell me you're trolling. And then like more people keep saying it. I was like, oh no. And then, like, yeah, and then the rollback happens. Yeah, there was so, a bunch of shit that happened. Okay, that so that, that makes a lot of sense then, because so the the, the RuneCraft mini game came out, and Rice can explain more on like if it's you know good. And he said it was quite good and XP's and whatever. But then I saw a picture of somebody PKing untradeables. He goes, yeah, yeah. Uh oh, rollback question mark. And then like the friend was like, <laughs> oh no. And then like I want to lose his progress. And then sure <laughs> yeah. enough, ten minutes later they got rolled. So I was wondering if that was real. Yeah, yeah, that was real. I lost tradables. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I got super lucky with totem pieces. I got like five totem pieces, and then in in that exact like time frame where I got lucky, that's when I that's what rolled back me. So I I literally lost all those <laughs> totem pieces, and I was not happy. <laughs> that's yeah. unfortunate, Ooh. bro. I'm sorry. Oof. Yeah, Oof. It is what it is. Like there's people that lost way bigger things. I yeah, guess. Yeah, I was but... I was in bed, so I was good. Like, it happens too much. Or recently, yeah, I feel. Yeah, Roll leaks. Back, not, not good, man. Been, yeah, yeah, they deal not with good. leaks. Yeah, Dude, I wonder, so far as here. Like it is it is a sign of a breaking game, I think, when this happens every time. Because like they have to be testing this stuff, surely. Oh they like, don't. <laughs> Not good enough. But, like yeah. they said that they haven't, or I mean oh, obviously they... they don't do it enough, but I mean I don't want to say it. I don't want to say in a way that they do some testing, but probably only specifically like regarding the mini game. I feel, and then yeah, because they can't like this happens because I was like completely random. Like I had nothing to do with the mini game, right? Yeah, Um, like like okay, I don't want to say in a way that defends them, but like, well, what is like the 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 typical release vibe of most long running MMOs? Like basically, for example, if WoW updates, do they do rollbacks? You know? The biggest problems usually would be like they can't log in, so it's so packed. I don't think we've had that fucking problem on RuneScape in quite some time. Yeah, so I swear that's like the biggest problem I see in other MMOs is like, oh, their servers are crashing. They can't handle all of these people. I, I don't. Yeah. That's not a RuneScape problem. Our problems are like, well, we got to reset it thirty minutes, or oh, there's another Tebow by the bush, or oh, uh, you know, fucking here's Max Cash out of nowhere. You know, yeah. I don't see those problems a whole lot in other MMOs. Yeah, I think, um, I guess ours may be a bit more unique. Yeah, because yeah. Rexy said, are these signs of a breaking game? And I'm like, thinking about signs of a breaking game, and then just like 40 things popped in my head that's happened the last two years. I'm like, shit, there's a lot of signs, you know? Yeah, for a minute especially. Yeah, he's got PTSD. <laughs> well, well, okay, right here. The single plus throughout the whole wilderness, you know, you can't attack someone anymore in a battle. You can't PJ, you can log out, right? Sounds great. But, you know, no one's talking about the multi to single that got changed. So if you're in multi and you're getting, you're attacking or you're in single, you're attacking someone in multi and someone attacks you, you can't attack the guy in multi anymore. That's gone. That is gone. If you get hit by an NPC when you're in multi and you run to single, you have to wait 12 seconds to attack someone else. You know how many times I've ran from multi to single and because I had a spider on me, I just sit there while the dude logged out. Like no one's talking <laughs> about this bug on this game. <laughs> And it's like it still exists. It's awful. Go into RuneScape right now, log in the wild, and go mess around with the multi single mechanic. It's yeah. Did they oh. test it? Did they test it? They, did, is this what they want? I don't know. Maybe yeah, they, they need want. a real PvP like special team, honestly, because they bro. Yeah, if they don't have it, it'll but, never go anywhere. Honestly, on the topic of like you know these issues that keep coming out, like it, it's kind of concerning when I think about it because there was a point in time when the old school runescape team 
uh, I don't know if it was Mod Mac K or it, it was one of the old live streams where people were like, "Would you do a rollback ever?" And they were like, "We will never do rollbacks." Like they were adamant yeah, really. that they weren't going to do rollbacks. And now it's kind of a common occurrence. Like, you know, it, it, yeah, they're. The, the, mm. the, I mean, they the have to. Me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some they of these to. they have to. They, they have I'm to, glad that that has turned. I'm no, glad no, no. An that's the thing. Board, you know, <laughs> it definitely, it's a good thing yeah. that they're doing it. But the concern mm -hmm. is, is that they're putting like, <laughs> I, I'd say minor updates into the game. It's not always like a huge expansion or whatever, <laughs> or like raids free. It doesn't necessarily have to be on that scale. Like literally, yeah. the, what was it? The farming guild and this um, new RuneCraft and mini game both have came with two game breaking bugs, which if they weren't quickly nipped in the bud would have, like, you know, terrible consequences to the game and just everything, you know? Yeah. And I think the thing that worries me the most <laughs> is that these are big bugs that are coming into the game that everybody is like, oh, yeah, I just PK'd an Infernal Cape. Everybody knows it. But yeah. There has to be smaller bugs that are coming into the game that yeah. people aren't realizing <clears throat> that maybe someone just finds one day and then exploits for, like, a year. And it's like, what happens when that happens? That's yeah, we won't really, really know. Happen, though, right? You know? over many times yeah, yeah so yeah, it, it, i it guess has happened in the past for sure you, you know i just imagine uh every year they're trying to push the boundary of this legacy code of of a game to new heights right so i guess certainly there's always going to be some some unintended thing that like they just won't be able to wrap themselves around ahead of time until like they put that in you know in the server see how actually uh, you know like affects the game and then do the rollback so uh, from what I can feel, I feel like the rollbacks will definitely be coming here and there, for sure, as they keep trying to push, you know, the technological bounds of, of, of freaking this legacy-ass game, you know? Uh, I think, yeah. Do, do you guys think that it might be <laughs> inevitable at this point that maybe the game's going to have to be transferred onto, like, a different platform in some way? where yeah, It's going to have to be a stable. complete rebuild. Isn't that super hard though yeah. to do? That's gonna oh, have to be yeah. like from scratch. That's how we rebuild. started. <laughs> uh, no, they kind of copied the code again, huh? No. Yeah, yeah. The they just like added on to old to code. Be, it would have to be the same for people to be happy. Otherwise, it'd just be like RuneScape, old school RuneScape V2 or something like that. But mm -hmm. like when you look at RuneScape Classic, like the original, like that game just broke. It was just like so outdated. It was like they couldn't do anything for it. They stopped giving it attention. There were like a bunch of problems oh. with that game. Let's not forget. Mm -hmm. What we're, we're, we're right now, yeah. But like, like, I feel you know, like I feel like sometimes, old. sometimes the mistakes that happen when they do like an update is because of like an, an actual accident. Some like I think the Tebow spawn, yeah, that was wasn't a... that like an accident by like yeah. a designer? Ba ba uh, okay, I remember pretty well how yeah, how it went down. I remember right? that. I remember so that well. so one of the new <laughs> mods that was working, they um they were yeah. you know using like a test like a like a they testing. It was like a test. Uh, it was like a test world thing where, when you when you save it, it would like it would it yeah. would also be whatever the main game was. So so the person forgot to delete the Tebow, yeah. and then it just you know once it transferred to the main game, it Dude, stayed. There, there is a tiny <laughs> bit more information I want to add because I think it's funny. And then so it, yeah, it was it was actually a uh, like it was a experienced developer who was showing like almost like a, a new apprentice, like a new yeah. developer like never do this. And forget to take it out. <laughs> they forgot to take it out, which is kind of funny. no. And yeah. the thing is, is that that's like a terrible design. That's like a mistake. That's, that's a mistake. That's, no, but that, yeah. but but like, but still, that that's because of a terrible procedural design. You know, it should be designed that if you just freaking put a node, like an item that spawns somewhere, it should be deleted automatically. You shouldn't have to be like manually deleting that shit. And I think that's what they fixed as a result, though. Yeah. They made it yeah, so yeah. that like none of that can't happen again. Because like, if because you they, accidentally they added, leave it, it'll they added it. a room crafting mini game, and as a result, something happens with untradeables. Like, how is that connected? It's just yeah. So see, like, that's what I'm random. saying. It's like they're they pushing. Really that's it. I feel. Yeah, I feel like well, it's because they're pushing the boundary of the the old code. That like because it, it's not just that, right? It was also group uh, the group Iron Man Banks. It would start deleting stuff too, and and so, it's multiple well, instances of that yeah. in other updates. I so, was yeah. told that there was actually a death mechanic change which came in with this oh well. yeah for ultimate iron man actually that yeah, probably caused it. it i that's think that caused it then yeah yeah it yeah, was it was super it funky 
But like the Ooh, coding and stuff is, uh, yeah, it, it's very no, yeah, like... No, yeah, the runecrafting, yeah, actually the runecraft, there was nothing wrong with the runecrafting minigame. Actually, they did yeah, a bunch of other updates Castle, on top. Of course, yeah. it is actually the death mechanic change. That makes total sense. Yeah, so yeah. They should have probably looked more into that. And they were maybe they were too focused on the runecrafting minigame. They kind of like probably. overlooked that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's possible. Because you gotta think, like, nobody anticipates for there to be a massive bug. But, like, you know, they want the big <laughs> piece of content that's the new fresh thing to go yeah, yeah. off. Got any problem so it makes exactly. it makes complete sense that yeah yeah, yeah. They, they probably overlooked the death mechanic change and they because they were too focused mm. on the mini game that makes mm. sense yeah yeah mm -hmm. interesting yeah there's that all right i guess some uh some minecrafting mini i mean there's i i don't want to say too too much since you guys haven't played it but uh it's it's really good xp and it's actually pretty fun it's like you know pretty clicky but there are moments where you can just relax and you know, let the system automate some of the process. You just char, you just like make runes that are, uh, depending on which, uh, which altar is active, you just go in there, charge it up, and then you charge the guy in the middle, and then you get 100%, and then you win the game, right? While you're defending, while you're also like creating guardians and shields to uh, protect from like those abyssal things that attack. It's like pest control, pretty much, oh, right? Yeah, I got a few questions for you for the mini game. I was wondering about yeah, something. What, yeah, yeah. Like, first, can you. Like, because obviously now everyone's playing the mini game. I did it for 10 hours. Gonna, 10 hours. 10 hours. Is it going to be like the same if there's like a lot less people like playing the mini game? Because it does, probably doesn't feel the same or, or is it possible? Yeah, yeah. I think, I think it's meant to be like obviously smaller teams. But uh, I couldn't do smaller teams because it was, uh, you know, just day one. So it was just a lot of people every time. But I, okay, I did do okay. one game where like maybe there was like 10 people and we were still able to complete the game. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, good, yeah, okay. yeah. But like, obviously, we don't know like the the, the ultimate <laughs> strategies because it's day one. But we did, we did yeah. consistently complete the games, which was good. Like the XP rates are definitely solid, though. Like they're 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 like ZMI rates, but you do get way more rewards. You get way more actually good runes, like blood runes yeah, and shit. The only thing is that I've heard some people complain that the the pearls were too slow or something. Yeah, they uh or... they just buffed that today. They they made it fifteen okay, percent yeah. more. Uh, I guess it's more common. Not exactly the yeah, right still wording. They said that. Improving like stuff. Yeah, they improved the drops a little bit. But um, yeah, the, basically, uh, the whole idea that rune crafting is like a struggle skill. I don't know. It, it might. It might. It might slowly. Uh, you know, the whole idea behind that might slowly go away because this mini game is definitely like really good XP, and it's yeah, actually yeah, enjoyable. So crazy. So yeah. Oh, so, I've got two <laughs> questions. Um. How much GP an hour is it? No what idea. The XP rates per hour. XP rates, it, it could be, it's up to like 60k if you have like the new pouch and you, you have wow. like the best stats. Wait, so, can you yeah. use that pouch for lava runes now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called like the, um, what's it called? It's like massive bag or something? Something like that? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you it's need like the needle like... though. You need to get this drop from the minigame called the Abyssal Needle to uh, mm -hmm. combine all those pouches together. Re, I when you that. get that, can you figure out how much lava runes are per hour? Like the max XP? It's gonna be like one. Oh, I mean, probably. I think right now it's like before the update. You know, if you were like the sweatiest mother trucker out there, it's probably like seventy k, like right? Seventy k. But with this yeah. pouch, it could be like probably seventy, eighty k. You know, because it because it holds the equivalent of all four bags and oh, twelve but, more. But, you, but you're also gonna get the ring that wow. teleports you to the altar, and you and also get the ring. Yeah, you also get this ring that teleports you to uh, the fire altar. Oh, dude, I need to go check this out. This sounds amazing. Dude, rings I, are doing or about like, to fall in price. Yeah, hard. that's crazy. <laughs> I actually crazy. see. I'm actually like, I, I'm not a skiller, but I really like lava runes. You could probably get seventy k an hour with that easily. Way dude, more. Way more. No, I mean like I for like a normal reason, for like for like weeksy or something. The reason yeah. I enjoy it as well is because I can see that it's a skill which is horrible to train. It's incredibly like just boring, click intensive, whatever. But through doing like click perfect, like the whole thing, if you don't mess up your clicks, everything's it's like smooth. spot on. Like you can, you're rewarded with some juicy XP. And I don't know why. I've always enjoyed lava runes. Like I've always liked it. When you get into the rhythm of it and you're listening to good music, it's kind of like, yeah. it's, it's kind of, it's not chill, but it's like, it's fun. It's like therapeutic, yeah, it I guess. Weird. Yeah, it could be therapeutic. In a weird way, yeah. Yeah, it sounds fun, man. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I doubt, yeah. doubt, doubt. If you pride yourself on good clicks for like PK and stuff, you, you might genuinely find yourself surprisingly enjoying yourself. When it. I was first I, starting... I never say that. 
when I was first starting to PK, I would always do all the click intensive stuff. Now I'm like, I'm getting old, bro. My wrist, you know, <laughs> it's <laughs> like shit. Investing <laughs> is all I do. <laughs> yeah, be clicking that much now. Nah, well, nah. That's that's how you that's how you age is when faster is when you think you're getting old. You know, you gotta that's fight true. that shit. You gotta fight that shit. Yeah, you got man. You gotta push through that shit. Dude. You're gonna be you like in a wheelchair it. in five years if you have that attitude. Like, dude, were you gonna push me <laughs> behind me, man? That'd be sweet. <laughs> no, dude. There ain't no. You're you're ain't nobody pushing you. You're pushing yourself. <laughs> no, yeah, <bro>. no. <laughs> like when we're at TwitchCon, Rice Cup be behind me and shit. I'd be chilling there, man. That'd be nice, dude. And someone can uh, ride on my lap, bro. I mean, I'll push you him. onto the stage at RuneFest, and then you can just complain about the game. <laughs> <laughs> I I when, I, when, I, when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, just it's better. Up. It's better than Ben getting so drunk he just starts fucking drunk walking everywhere, and we lose him. <laughs> <laughs> it's only happened like. <laughs> only happened. <laughs> Dude, I swear, just that one, like one, one uh, trip alone was like more than twice. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was Wait, uh, honestly, man. I, bro, when you're just streaming... oh, the room crafting mini game. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Any more questions? Any more questions? Are you going for the? Are you going for the full outfit? Are you gonna? Oh, like, dude, that shit's right now? so good. It's sixty percent more runes when you have the full outfit, dude. When you when you room craft. Are you gonna grind it out? I've heard oh, it takes yeah, quite yeah. a bit of time. Oh, it's like okay. twenty five hours right now. Twenty hours, maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe yeah, less, okay. obviously, when the people know more, more about it. But but like the the outfit's insane. It's sixty percent more runes. Uh, yeah, when you when you have it on, good. I mean, basically, sounds... with the new blood altar that came out, the true blood altar, you can make like eight thousand an hour, man. Eight thousand blood runes. Eight thousand blood runes per hour. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can get there man. super right, fast, yeah. and then you have the Same outfit. Step. Yeah, you so, also have the right. outfit to boost the the rates. Yeah. Ooh, yo, that's good for Iron Man. Yeah, it's really yeah, good because like have to buy yeah. runes anymore. They can just yeah. make it. Yeah, basically, like like whenever new pvm comes out and you have to use those bloody things like the scythe and shit on an iron yeah. man you can you can just you know stock up some blood yeah. yeah i don't yeah. know yeah i'll I mean, have some you can use. probably save a lot of gp on iron man as well now because you don't need to spend it all on blood runes yeah it, yeah it's just it sucks because like the store's also competitive so like you know only a yeah, few yeah, people exactly. can do it at a time everyone hates it <laughs> it's so stupid it's it's a really uh it's a really bogged down like uh, you know process because I've, i remember they wanted to introduce a uh, Blood room packs, didn't they? And everyone's kind of like, nope, don't do that. <laughs> it, no, it was it was a really bad implementation because they wanted like you to do it through thing, Slayer, right? like for <laughs> yeah. it. Like what? Oh bro, God. just yeah, put yeah, blood yeah. room packs in Darkmire, bro. That place is literally a vampire city. Just have a guy that sells blood room packs for like a premium, you know? Yeah, they never went through with that. It's so Any simple. Type. It's li you literally have a a freaking city thematically is blood. You couldn't yeah, you couldn't yeah. freaking sell blood room packs in that store, right? Whatever, man. Right. I, I'm over it, I guess. I'm yeah, they've over done, it. They've done so much for you stinking Iron Man. With your blood yeah, 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 yeah. There's I'm so not, I'm not even going to beg for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to beg for Iron it. Man. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, well, you, yeah, yeah that's what it is for us. Which is yeah. an optional weapon. Use the Blade of Salad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll still use my Scythe because I just runecraft all day. All, AFK all day. So, but yeah. <laughs> not everybody has the luxury, right. though, to do that. But yeah. By the way, Rice, I've been meaning to ask you this. Put your hands in the air. No, no, th this model doesn't have hands. So, <laughs> oh, dude, if you want dude, a model that has hands, I, I, again, it's probably gonna cost you a grand, dude. Does it have? Mate, I saw you slouching earlier, and I saw your character was like down here. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, no, it can move like the tor the torso, but th that's all it has, you know. Dude, like I'm telling you, the whole v VTuber stuff, like the models and rigging and stuff, it gets insane. It could, like I say, it could go upwards of thousands of dollars depending on the. Oh, what kind of shit you want? He hasn't got hands, but did you get the dick installed? Stand no, no, no. They got nothing. Dude. I knew you would torso. ask that. I knew you would ask that. <laughs> no, oh no, no, no. This, this is just fifty a month. This, this is just experimenting <laughs> when I can't uh, actually use a webcam. You know. That's five hundred dollars extra, Racy. Come on. Yeah, probably, dude. It's insane, bro. <laughs> like, do you, like. Do you think people do dirty talk with their avatar? Oh, absolutely. Like, you know, like, well, if, like if, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yo, you're asking some yeah. interesting questions. I mean, like, uh, like people <laughs> dirty talk with webcams on like a, a, an adult website. Yeah. Why wouldn't they do it with an avatar? Right? I'm very it's... big in the metaverse for the future, and the running joke is, uh, we're about to go have some metaverse sex. Like that's <laughs> you know? honestly, like, who wants to have some metaverse sex? I mean, I mean, bro, like, like phone sex is a thing, and and that's been yeah, around forever. Like, so why wouldn't there wonder... be a metaverse sex? You know, dude, because I've seen these. Uh, you can touch yourself, yeah. right? I got it. 
I'm, no, I'm just saying like I'm, I'm saying in real oh life, right? Gosh, so then like okay, it translates, okay. right? No, um, <laughs> like why wouldn't so it? Right? On this weird, weird subject, like you always mm-hmm. see this shit pop up on Twitter, but you you probably seen a video of like some <laughs> some dude in a convention. He's got like this full suit on, and then like the bottom part has like you know you just see it extracting, distracting, and then like there's a screen of some anime girl on top of him. He's just sitting there in like a crowd like fifty people getting pleased. I'm thinking, <laughs> oh god, dude, that's gonna be like a future in like a couple of years. They're gonna be like a matter of right. You're saying no, know, but like, there, but there's oh already orgies god. in real life, right? So <laughs> that would be a like, thing. So you guys, <laughs> <laughs> there's been orgies in real life for a while, bro. I don't know, man. No, no, I'm saying, no, I'm saying, like people still do that. I feel like. Well, yeah, dude, dude, listen, I'm just gonna tell you this, man. Like replica plastic yeah. pussy is never gonna be a replacement for the real. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, I'd it's say, never, it's yeah. never gonna be as popular. Yeah, yeah true. But, um, dude, I just had this image of me with like this massive fucking like gamer headset on. There's just like this fucking penis thing. Like, like, this, <laughs> you just walks in like what the fuck? It's just super loud. It just. <laughs> <laughs> oh the god! Hell is going on? <laughs> no, 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 no. no honestly, dude, house, like, like it's right now no, again. Oh. Is it? Dude, the whole room yeah. is like vibrating. Yeah, honestly, the whole VTube <laughs> streaming and stuff has really taken over like Twitch and stuff. You know, you know, like the number one or two most subscribed Twitch channel is actually a VTuber, man. <laughs> oh my God. It's crazy. <laughs> so, bro, yeah. it's the future, man. People, and, no, like, dude, there's so many VTubers on YouTube. Somehow, bro. Like, so I'm many VTubers you. on YouTube. It's actually insane. I don't it's watch them, the but I've noticed that. Uh, where you're going to be in the grand exchange, and that person dancing is going to ask you for like 10 GP and then like take you around to the back alley of a rock, dude. All right, it's gonna get that far, oh, man. He's yeah, gonna be oh walking God. by in proximity chats and be like, <laughs> you know, like "What the fuck's going on down there, dude?" <laughs> nah, dude. Hopefully, the guards will stop them, man. You know, send them to jail. <laughs> uh, those oh, guards better do more than just drop blue scrolls, man. You know, bro. after that. Man, the future is a weird place, and uh, dude, you know, no, today it, uh, modern times already a weird place. You know, it's it's yeah, changing no. so fast. I hope y'all can keep up. Mm-mm, you know. I can't. I, I think it is stressful trying to keep up with all this new technology and socialization, you know? Back in the day, all yeah. people did was just, like, sit by the fire and just, like, throw rocks at each other, probably, you know? Yeah, and count, like, cockroaches and shit. Yeah, and just do the same shit for, like, thousands. Th- then, but, but literally, every five years, we're like, all right, are you going to be a VTuber now? Are you going to be in the metaverse now? You know? Honestly, right? it is a little it's weird, crazy. Like, the it's future crazy. career paths for people. And I don't it's know where the subject's so much. going, but yeah. where we're going with this, but... Yeah, this is the after hours now. So, like, if you stay, right you should. When you get out of schooling, like before you get college, the amount of people getting into like online jobs, not just sexual, right? Because obviously, you got to think <laughs> only fan- like back in the day, people would just be like, "All right, I'm gonna go and become a stripper now." And that was the thing, and you know, <laughs> now it's only fan, and it's so easy to do, and that's just one part of like the amount of virtual jobs out there. But it almost seems like you look at these other jobs, like, "Oh, I gotta go to school for four years," and or I just take a picture of my feet. Or like you know, or or play RuneScape. Yeah, yeah, or you just go and play RuneScape, dude. But, or something. Yeah. Or or become and, a VTuber and you know and just act all cute, you know. It just seems like thousands. everyone's kind of heading there to where it's like it's it's not weird anymore to where you're just getting a job outside the norm. That's now the norm, right? It's like that's where the opportunity is, even if it's weird. Bro, there's and uh, and the and the thing is, is that like socially speaking, a lot of people are kind of like confused as to what what's their purpose in life you know like what they're gonna do for a job like does it even make sense anymore to do that kind of stuff to do this Mm -hmm. nine to five or whatever nothing wrong with nine to five i think some people truly enjoy that but i feel i think a lot of people are starting to realize like there's just so many more possible options that sounds better than a nine to five or like an office job you know yeah the nine to five came from some way back way when they would just make people work 12 hours 16 hours a day and it's like no we want eight 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 hours of work eight hours of play eight hours of sleep and that became the quite quite the norm. And then you got other nations out there that do 30 hour work weeks and two months of AK or whatever. And now yeah. it's like people are saying, like, how is pro, pro, uh, productivity increasing with these different types of uh, working working hours, man? It's like the less people have to work, the more shit they're getting done. So I wonder, yeah, outside the nine to five norm, are we going to start seeing even more jobs kind of just creep out to the where it's like you sit and I was like, you're working nine to five now? It's like. Yeah, that's a really yeah. that's a very really nuanced topic for sure. Like yeah, a really, I think really <clears throat> something that's interesting to think about, right? You just said it about like OnlyFans, girls getting OnlyFans and stuff. 
Guy fans. Well, you, you used people used to go and become strippers, for example, right? So mm -hmm. with more and more girls realizing that, wow, I can get paid a fortune by just taking pictures of my own cozy, warm house without having to go and dance around a pole. Like, I wonder what that will actually do to the girls that do stripping. Whether that's I mean, they, they, like they probably do it too, you know? They probably just well, also do OnlyFans. They might. Yeah, they could do possibly. I got like, yeah. some some weird info on this is like at TikTok, right? If you guys scroll through TikTok, there's gaming, no. there's all this stuff, there's dancing, and then there's uh, there's hoes, right? Lots of hoes that are on Ooh. TikTok. Wait, I've hoes? Never seen on there. I've actually never used TikTok. I I don't use it as much, you know. But I, I was trying to upload a TikTok or whatever. You got to try as a content creator, and I just wanted to learn about it. In China, their algorithm is if you if you make like robots, you do something that's uh, creative and knowledgeable, you'll get into the algorithm and you'll get pushed to the top. In America, you show your titties, you're going to get pushed to the top, right? So it's kind of weird that, uh, you know, you were talking about strippers. They mm -hmm. actually just do TikTok. They don't even do OnlyFans. And they get millions of views, dude. And they're just showing the locker rooms and their butt cheeks. And it's like it pushes it to the <laughs> algorithm all the way to the top. And that actually does happen, right? These strippers <laughs> are, are just making bank with, with cash. They're going on a TikTok and probably making how do like, you How do you make money on TikTok? I don't even know. It's like uh, I don't think you, you gotta do. get partnered, get, like, sponsors or something, or like you can do. But but these mm. like I'm I'm saying they get like millions of views yeah, per yeah. video. And they yeah, no, I mean they like, could promote their channel. shit though. It's like easy marketing though if you get mm -hmm. that many people. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. they can easy sneak in like a OnlyFans link, you know, right? Or pay or like one of those. A uh, lot of them do. They connect their shit. Boom. They do. They go 100%, to TikTok right? and then they connect their OnlyFans and also and they're they got all these connections, man. It's yeah. just it's crazy how they build <sighs> just these careers, man. And I'm yeah. talking it, careers. We're talking higher than doctors. We're talking like they could probably get invited to the big old clubs. Uh, they got clout off this shit, bro. It's just built into the system and. It blows my mind, bro. Yeah, I social mean, media geez. is power, man. It's crazy. Yeah, so cloud is literally money nowadays, dude. Promoters, money, strippers, money. It's just money. Yeah, it's we're just power. all part of a grand scheme of ev uh, uh, technological social evolution. That's why I call it. Honestly, so we went crazy. from RuneScape to strippers? Yeah, I mean, this is the after hours. We, we've covered all our points, you know? We've done our job, so. If, yeah, I mean, yeah. we've done I our think job. There's probably gonna be like big divides in people when it comes. Uh, there to already that. is. I feel like um, there, there's quite a because a bit. It, it's kind of like astonishing, really, when you talk about it. And it's like you see there the, are a lot of like goofy and new ways to make money online where you seemingly don't do very much, including us. Like, let's be honest, we play um, fucking video games. And no, we, for we real. Uh, no, I mean, I uh, truth, truth to be told, I feel like I do work pretty hard. Although I am grateful for the work, though, you know? Well, oh, of course. Right. But my, my point is, is, like, there, half of the people are still out there fucking slaving away, working in basic, like, sweatshops, like Amazon and shit, being paid nothing, pissing in bottles and whatnot. And then the other half are seemingly sat at home comfortably, getting paid mm -hmm. lots of money to do basically nothing. And it's kind of like, I wonder what the outcome there will be. Because that's... That's very like they're like polar opposites. Yeah. Right? So, it's but I, I, yeah, yeah. No, I, I respect every job because at some, you know, what I mean, you things have to be done, right? Like you, you can't mm -hmm. run the world without a grocery store working, right? Like for example, yeah. or like some restaurants. I, I, do you know what? I, I mean, sorry, if I can quickly add to that real quick. What I was gonna say about the stripper girls is that if everybody goes and <laughs> does OnlyFans and that's how they get their income, like my thought process there was in? like, well, I, I hope the girls that do do stripping on the polls in real life. It paid a shitload more because it's like it, it's yeah. become more of like a uh you know a sore after thing and same for if everyone else goes and lives in the metaverse or whatever it's like the people that live in the real verse you know power in those battle stations for those people should be paid a lot of money to do so right i i don't know it's well yeah no like, i think the metaverse will eventually lead into actual virtual reality where you can like feel things while you're you know while yeah. you're just sitting still that would be cool and that would yeah. basically <laughs> destroy the need for physical i guess right because then you're like well i just get it here literally the same feeling or whatever i don't you know what i mean that that's what i assume that, virtual reality would be this is this this is the thing right it's like there are like scientific limits to how far the technology can go right is there so though like, right is there though yeah, but, but, right? Well, we don't know but like for you to be able to fill something over like the internet it would have to do something with like your nervous system. Yeah, yeah. You e would literally. E you have, have to, to be like a cyborg, basically. Well, well, the They're thing is, you, that. Yeah, because like there's neural network stuff now. People can literally like 
plug something into their brain and like they can control certain things moving so like it's already in the process of conversion where like you could you could basically put yourself in a permanent state of a dream right and feel that thing like with more control it's like lucid dreaming x a thousand because like you're actually like fucking you can Dude. see everything feel everything right man I, uh, real yeah. quick sorry i know i know you want to say something man i i remember hearing this really interesting theory scary on, but yeah it, it's like a theory to why we haven't found like aliens right and one of the theories was that there could be an advanced society that is so advanced that they've literally just found like their utopia bliss where they've all plugged themselves into some kind of network and they're just living their they best just don't life. give a shit yeah exactly and they don't give a shit and they just don't <clears throat> want to be found yeah and it's like that, that's i really like that concept i, I think that's very interesting hey hey no too yeah go ahead i was gonna say they say that's the reason one of the reasons why we don't find a lot of life in, in in the universe is that what if we just evolve every intelligent life form we just evolve into the next stage and it almost feels like that next stage is technology all right we're always obsessed with it we want the newest phones the newest it doesn't yep. matter how far we get i mean we could stop here and be just self-sufficient right we could develop all this shit yeah uh, you know <clears throat> but we want to go farther we want to go explore yeah, we no, wanna... greed, human greed and curiosity is literally unstoppable so but, like what yeah. if that's just natural life though right what if it's just so natural like these these movies where we turn into robots and shit, what if that is actually what we're trying to achieve right what if that's the next step why wouldn't it be right what, what's evolution right so i'm always just gonna put on like a headset and sit sit in a simulation all day and that's it's it. gonna be like wally dude just a bunch of fat yeah. fucks getting lofted around in chairs <laughs> dude, and you just gulp the, it the, down bro but, <laughs> dude the is crazy thing is right it, it's like talking about this like being like connected into this or whatever i kind of sit here thinking like would i do that and i'm like Bro, I'm like the I'm already, closest yeah. thing to that already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. I would do it, but there'd be a condition <laughs> that I would be able to snap the fuck out of it. I hope also, so. My missus yeah. would have to come with me because that'd suck if she didn't. Yeah, yeah, no. Like, like honestly, things. some of this stuff is gonna go beyond our moral conscience, and you're gonna have to make decisions that you'll never have practice in your life, and you'll never truly be ready for it. But anyways, besides that, that's crazy. You know, that's like Pandora's box shit. What I'm saying is though, it's like. The technology to like create your, you know, put yourself in like a very, very insanely real dream. I feel like it's not as advanced as like, say, being able to travel faster than speed of light, right? I mean, we could like just still be chilling on Earth, you know, just plugging our, our shit in and just living that life, right? Virtually. But we still probably couldn't even discover the technology to be fast, so fast that we can reach another planet or find alien life, yeah. right? Uh, you know what I mean? We, like the yeah. level of technology. I feel like this is closer to home. Than like you know finding aliens even right or or talking yeah. to aliens from another galaxy or some shit I don't know when we when we get to that point do you think women will be more hoey I think everybody will be more hoey because you just log online <laughs> and be like hey you want to go feel you know it's like what all right yeah just bounce on down no STDs no nothing no you don't even know their name you just head on yeah honestly you, you, you know another thing to be super scared of is that if you could literally plug your brain into virtual reality wouldn't you be able to limit what kind of feelings you care about right what kind of things you want right emotionals right like control like the, the range of your emotion what if you're just like you know fuck sexual needs turn that shit off right it's like gone you know like honestly that's kind of scary though because what if you accidentally turn off all your emotions and you're like you're, you're just nothing it's just way better <laughs> <They're> just nothing, <laughs> nothing dude. it's like you know what i mean dude, do you know what's do you that's know what's scary dude. that's actually fucking said? scary I, I literally watched a film last night called right. equilibrium yeah 2002 which is exactly what you described no that's what's scary the, though like they're like, injecting this like formula which turns off their feelings and anybody that gets feelings gets killed oh like, wow that's straight up oh. no, no so no, no, like it, no it, like dude, it's, yeah no like it's like rake like, 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 right it's, it's weird yeah it's like rake so so to expand on that i'm like i'm excited for the potentials of all this stuff but i'm also very scared because a lot can go wrong you know a lot, a lot of un yeah. unintended consequences will probably happen that mm -hmm. that I don't know. I might just regret ever wanting to progress further in technology. You know, it's yeah, and it's a really, really serious question. Like I think I might just be happy with VTubing and like playing within a physical space that connects people in other physical parts of the world. Well, there, there's yeah. an incredibly famous and terrifying Scary. quote 
by uh, Nicholas scary. Tesla, and I think it, it was him. And and that's the guy who got raided for all his research by the FBI when he died poor and homeless, even though he contributed crazy amounts to where they actually named the company Tesla, Elon's company. Um, and it said that we will live through man-made horrors beyond our comprehension. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And we've I mean, already, we're already, we're already there. That shit, yeah, because like, I mean, dude, the internet, bro. Like, I. When I first explored the internet, it was just like, ah, Google, amazing. RuneScape, amazing. Video games, amazing. And then now it's like, whoa, people make jobs out of this. People are hacking people's banks, you know, cyber, you know, cyber crimes and shit like that. Like, you know, it's crazy. I'm Whatever just like, happens in the future, we can always play our shitty graphic game. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll just, bl- I'll, <laughs> no, I'll, just I'll, I'll, I'll blame it ourselves, you know, if we go too far and like actually just go out of control. I like the shitty graphics. Yeah, I'm hoping we get past that because Racy brought up something that was a little terrifying. Really. It's scary, dude. He was saying mm-hmm. that like everyone's getting a job online, and then yeah. uh, just you know, there's not a lot of producers. And you know, if you guys know the question, the the average length of uh, a a reign of like uh, just you know, like China and shit like that. How long do those countries or nations reign? You know, how long do they actually survive? You guys know. Wait, that? Are, you, are you talking about the like, average the leaders? No, just them. Like they've perished. Not China, but just like you know, the Romes fell. A lot of people. Oh, like, oh yeah, civilizations. yeah, yeah. I see. Civilizations. Yeah, civilizations. Yeah, yeah, the word. So you guys know the average time they usually span? Uh no. Nah, I mean, it? it'd be like a few hundred years max, yeah, kind of thing. Two hundred and fifty years. What's the What's the length of America right now? I think we're two hundred and fifty plus years old. No, but the thing so, is, I think I think I don't know if we can even classify civilizations anymore in modern times because we're so well, interconnected we're so interconnected we don't now. know if we so. ever got to that point we only assume we've never got to that point but cars all these all these things that planes uh, and civilization shit. would Internet. leave behind if they were uh you know as capable as we are would have de-rusted de- dude, right? dude do you guys do you yeah, want to hear yeah. my one sec, do, you, do you want to hear my sci-fi movie plot all right director so, hear this, right? Or Rex- so right so here we go so we all know what's going on with Mars right now. We know that it had oceans at one point in time. Imagine this. Water, this at least, you know. Yeah. The first, like, the first race of humans lived <laughs> on Mars. Earth, inhabitable, right? What ended up happening was the first humans on Mars, they fucked it so bad, kind of like the route we've kind of taken, that they had to get the fuck out. Now, Earth wasn't quite ready yet, because there were dinosaurs and shit, or who knows what. Earth wasn't ready. So they managed to get advanced enough to the point where they just, they were like, we're out, peace. But on their way out, they decided to like sprinkle down some some seeds down onto Earth. And that's what we are. It's possible. And that's where I mean, we came yeah. from. And they, they've just gone for now. They're like out somewhere in some other universe. Can I, can I expand on that? Because that's really, that's really cool, man. Because actually on Mars, they say there might actually be radioactivity, right? There's just these weird formations there. They're like, oh, geez. Like maybe there was a nuclear war on Mars, and they actually escaped to Earth. Uh, and then you know what? What do we have as some of these long-term stories? Right? Um, we got God Noah's Ark, where where there was a big flood and that wiped everyone out. And then we got you know there. Some of them are religious, some of them are just stories, right? But Adam and Eve—that's a story as well, where two people landed on a, a new garden, right? And what would Earth look like back then? a fucking garden it'd be greeny as shit right so what if these stories actually are literally just thousands if not hundreds of thousands of years just told down and they've just become so like, yo, also, yeah also we know are yo, these stories also right? you could just think about it another way right like we're good at writing stories where even if we had no basis for it our our common sense just makes something happen right and then like for all you know the future could literally just happen the same way right you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, yeah. No. 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 I. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Because, like, because I think about yeah. it, right? Like, like, okay. A lot of you know, a lot of people are are doing movies and shit about sci-fi and shit. I. I mean, I'm willing to bet in the future we're probably gonna get to that point, anyways, right? Because we're just good at like, pre- you know, predicting well, that, what happened in our past or what yeah. happens in our future too. So, well, like, that, the whole idea of like, you know, oh, two two people, um, you know, uh, being in like a green area like a long time ago, meeting up and producing our future kind I, I mean it's fairly realistic and you don't even have to be religious to be like i mean how else is it gonna work i mean you you have to have sex right to make the baby and then make more right you got to propagate you know so and then back in the and back in the day i mean it's far greener than ours because we didn't have buildings and shit back in those days so so mm-hmm. it's a very plausible story even if i wasn't 
looking at it from like like literally if it if i didn't even know it was adam and eve and someone's telling me this idea that like two people made it way back in the day like it's that that's very plausible in the first place yeah and it's not yeah, just yeah. a story it is one of the biggest stories that have yeah. been crossed down and you know you say uh, it makes a lot of sense stories and like though, how, you know? how us humans kind of tell but it maybe it's ingrained to our dna to tell stories right to keep history Right? And that's why we have such yeah. amazing, incredible stories we woven into different religions that all kind of somewhat are, are, are the same when you kind of overlap them, which is kind yeah, of... No, yeah, no, I'm just saying it's very plausible either way. Image. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just saying it's very mean, plausible bro, either way. Look, look, at, look at like... Uh, is, fucking, how'd you say it? Israel? 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 Is how you say Israel? Yeah. Like, it's like, uh, all of, so. like all of the major religions, most, like all dragons. stem back there. It's like, dragons, for, you know, yeah. it's like, they're they all, it's kind of... Do you, do you guys know what the term Chinese whisper means? Do you guys know what that is? No. You know Sounds kind of racist. Is? I, do you know what? Do you know what? I was thinking that. It could be, but we were literally taught this in school, okay? Where, and I'm assuming this is like a British thing in that case. British. We used to play, we used to play Chinese whisper. So you got 30 kids in a, in a school. Is that right? like telephone? And, yeah, it sounds like telephone. So I'll, exp I'll explain it. So you whisper yeah, to the person next to you. You say, uh, spaghetti, Chinese? spaghetti pizza Chinese? and tuna. Chinese. I don't know why it was called Chinese it's whisper, bro. Whisper, bro. Whisper, bro. We just bro, call I'm it telephone. We call it telephone. You say it in a slight accent, you know, just fucking <laughs> church. You know what? Bro, listen, I, I never saw a Chinese person until I came on the internet, okay? <laughs> Dude, I live in the middle of fucking nowhere. It was called oh. Chinese whispers. I'm sorry. That was what it was called. Yeah, that's right? kind of racist. I didn't, I didn't think of anything of it. It, yeah, yeah like, you, would, you would whisper something to the person next to you. You'd say spaghetti tuna sandwich, and then they would do it to the next person okay. next to you, all the way around, furry people, and then it would come back, and then different. you would say what it is. The last right? person has to say the word, uh, the, yeah. the yeah. sentence, yeah, and yeah. it'll be different. Yeah. It would be something so what, what, completely different. Yeah. I'm, I completely forgot where I was going with that, but yeah, no, that's 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 how. Yeah, no, oh, I was gonna talk about, about that. I was gonna talk about that because, like, we were talking about the literally the main stories of humanity that yeah. get passed down in time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So like I, I kind of see it like that, just over a it's pretty true. long period of time. Oh, it definitely happened, right? Because, like, um, no, like, think about it. I, like I said, I think the base story is very plausible because, I mean, at some point, someone's got to have sex to make more of us, right? And, it, and it's got to be way I, back, it, right? Bro, I'm, listen, okay. one sec. I'm, I'm really the, agitated a minute. I'm really sorry if that is racist, but it's just what we... Yeah, no, it's all good. It's all good. I, I don't know. Really yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, there are so many words that I have just been taught as a child in the most innocent way where <laughs> I don't feel any kind of hatred towards anybody. But now they're really racist, and it really bothers me because I'm like, man, if I said that's the wrong person, like it could cause a. No, nah, uh, yeah, no, nah, I think you're you know good. I, mean? I think you're good. I think you're good. You could just I say, I, I, it's what we called it, I guess. We did, you know. But no, what I'm saying oh is God, like, dude, I, I've lit. Sorry, I've literally just googled it, and it says the origin, the notion of Chinese whispers, and the first thing it says stems from a racist idea. Yeah, well, of course. Why would you? you know what I mean, it's like it's ra It's like you, why did you call it Chinese? Oh, it's called whispers, right? Right. Our teachers but, called it that. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. There's definitely some racist connotations. Honestly, dude. Honestly, that that stuff is beneath us, man. That's like some low IQ kind of like thing we got to worry about. Like what we're talking well, you about. You know, man, it could be racist. But no one called shit. it the Italian whisper. So I mean, I'm kind of you know, I'm. It'd be yeah. Nice, dude. Well, yeah. No, but like, 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 yeah. we like to exaggerate our stories a bit sometimes. You know, like after a while, we keep spreading it. We want to spice it up a bit sometimes. Oh my you know? god. And then we I'm add a bit sorry, more. Man. We add some more. You know, mystical powers to our stories. You know. Right, etc. Right, things get crazy after a while after you spread well, the stories a bit. You know, it's yeah. like you were told these stories, like you're told them like they're just normal stories, right? You don't actually think about the implications of why why would somebody try to gather all the animals in a boat and sail away? What the hell is he doing? It's like, oh, it's a challenge from God. God did this, and he never wanted to do it again, and he told him to. It's like, why is the story? What am I learning from this? It's like, oh, you mean it's entertaining? Maybe at least it could be based on the. <laughs> The, you know, they found 13,000 years ago there was a meteorite impact that would have caused a worldwide flood, right? And they, they found um, the, in the sediment there was these fragments that if, if the, how big it was, it would have caused a worldwide flood. And that would have wiped out any life if there was any 13,000 years ago. It's like, is this story maybe compatible in any way to uh, the I, I think... flood? We don't know, right? Yeah, because yeah, Because everything no. was wiped out. But... Yeah. Every I think there's story. truth sprinkled in there. For yeah, sure. I agree. Every story and, 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 and there is evidence. seems to have some truth in it, and that's just kind of what yeah. blows my mind. It's not just random stories. These 
come from somewhere. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're not like great stories either. It's not like it's so great. You got to just. Well, well, like, like what, what, what I would like to good. say is like, just think about probability, right? Like, it's not like this story is so unique of a story, right? Like literally yeah. every year we have immigration stories, right? People take shit that, you know, they think is valuable and they go somewhere else, right? It's a, it's a very common story. And, and it's not like only us now are immigrating. It's like people have been immigrating since the dawn of fucking time, you know? Right. It's like. So it's a very mm -hmm. plausible story. So even if it was like a made up story, someone didn't really have any like crazy personal experience. It it statistically probably happened before, right? And it's and it's very easy to be able to connect it. I'm not saying it's not a real story. I'm just saying this is a this is a story of many stories, you know? Yeah. Right. It almost that, feels like stories right? that so. are that, that we find from these are almost like something happened in history that was so impactful that it just kind of trails it's down either inspired like people to talk about yeah. it in a way that's a little bit exaggerative or like a you know or or like or or they experience like, something like that even nursery rhymes it. a lot of nursery yeah. rhymes have pretty dark past right like what's the yeah. one where they like all fall down right isn't that from like London the Bridge black plague or some where half their remember. families died 50 percent mortality rate right i think yeah i think two-thirds of the entire population died in Europe. Yeah, Are you so I about, think a lot you of these. About the Pied Piper, the, uh, the, the bubonic plague. plague the, the, the black all these nursery songs yeah. are like connected to yeah. horrifying events, but they're taught to kids as nursery. It's like, what are these stories, bro? Yeah, what are these songs coming but, but, down? But man? this is this is the thing, right? So, in, in a lot of senses, we've kind of been like at peace as a planet for, I'd say, since like the last World War, right? And it's like the things that are taught, such as the floods. And, you know, like you're describing the Black Plague, were so horrific, and they were such bad times. You'll never forget it. It's, it's, it's almost like it needs to be passed down. Mm -hmm. And here, here's the thing, right? Think about this. Like, because we've had peace for such a long time, there is evidence and proof that there have been great floods in the past. Like, there are, there's actually evidence that there have been floods. There are fucking rocks where they shouldn't be and so forth, like boulders, where it's like, there's nothing that could have put this here. And it's not come from space. This is literally being moved by some giant fucking wave, and you're like in the middle of the Netherlands or some shit. But it's like, if something were to happen, this is the thing. It's inevitable that at some point down the line, there will be something that happens to the planet with the technology we have now, which is going to be a natural. And I mean, just how old the is, Earth is, right? You know. Yeah, it, it's going to happen, and it's going to be. You know, it might be something which is like catalytic. Is that the word catalytic? You know, where it like catastrophic? the whole world. Catastrophic, sorry. Or yeah. it could be something minor. Like there, there's literally a city in Italy That's that is sinking. built around an active volcano. And I can't think oh. of the name of it. Forget oh, Vin, me. Uh, like, Vin, Vinsuvius or something? I forgot the name. Something like that. But like, that was a long time ago. That story. No, yeah. it's a long time ago, but it's still active. Yeah, yeah, like, probably. The last, right. time, the last yeah. time it went off, like, it, put it this way. I think it's Vesuvius it or some shit. I don't remember. Yeah, something. I, I'm not sure of the name, but like yeah. people would die, and like anything like that can happen. I just think like if that were to happen, let's say a meteor struck and it wiped out like the entire of like I don't know, not the entire, but like wiped out half of like Australia, right? Poor it's guys. like, bro, the way that we as like a society would respond to that would be fucking interesting. Yo, the same um, we'd have a lot of kangaroo memes. Sorry, I just feel like there'd be yeah. something there. Yeah, you know, it's All if. Right. if Last if thing. humanity was yeah. to face any sort of strife that could wipe out a large portion, I, I just almost assume there'd be memes out. Just like it, like an asteroid, we could see it one day away. You just go on like a site. like, hey, we're all going to die tomorrow. Go do whatever the fuck you want. It would just be constant memes until we actually get eroded. Oh, so. also, uh, one last thing I want to talk about, like add to that. It's just, you know, the whole telephone thing, um, how stories change over time. Um, also, just to also think about like way back in the day, uh, our recording uh, capabilities were pretty rough, right? It's just usually word of mouth for the most part. And then at some point, it got into books, but even books were the most reliable. Well, you got those because, tablets, they Because people, ding, you know, ding, 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 people you know? could often just kind of write a bit more than they needed to, right? They just, they like to lavish their experience, right? Like, right? like when you experience something, you want to like talk about it in a way that's grand, right? So when they write it down, it's probably going to get slightly changed a bit. And then every time someone wants to spread that, they write it down or talk about it, they'll get a little bit changed. But nowadays, we now have like videos and stuff, which makes it a lot easier to see things for what it really is, objectively. Yeah. So a lot of those stories from way back in the day has, has definitely changed yeah, so much that it's really hard to be like, 
right, which part of it is exactly what happened and which part of it's like you know you just added that for effects right whereas now it's so funny like that just now, reminds right? me yeah. mm -hmm. that reminds me of like you know jesus walking on water it's just like at the actual time when that happened the dude was just a phenomenal swimmer man like this guy was <laughs> yeah, right. alive what if he was just bro. michael phelps <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, yeah. like, it was like he was running on it, bro. It was so crazy. <laughs> was, was Yo. past, Jesus is just really the best swimmer of all time. Bro. I know you, you don't freaking like exactly. You, you just wish you lo time. yeah. You just low key wish you just saw a video of that, right? You know. Can you imagine what that would look like? Dude? Just fucking just putting it in, dude. Yeah, what if us <laughs> as a was, species like devolved? Expert fucking fisher. You could like brew fucking the best wine. I know. Like, like on that's where that game. story came from it's like i swear we only had like two loaves of bread and one fish he took this man out to the river for one hour he made like a hundred fish it was like it came out of nowhere you know, i know it was yeah exactly dude i wish i i like i wish we knew right wish we we could see what happened rather than like i don't want to hear your stories man just give me the goddamn video man i want to just watch this shit you know yeah uh, we know because like they, like imagine if like people told us about world war one and two and there were no video clips like, what the hell would we even, like, see, right? Well, how would we even think about it, right? People would just it be like, be, yeah. it, was, it, was, it was insane disaster, you know what I mean? Like, but then you see the videos, you're like, oh, okay, now you get to see it. Like, it's like, it's, it's different. It just hits different when you can see it versus when mm -hmm. you hear it, for sure. Yeah. It just hits so different. It's probably, it's probably a good thing that videos were not around, like, 200 years ago or something when they used all those, like, torturing devices and shit like that. You would be able to see all of that on video. I mean, dude, I, if I saw that, I'd be like, never again. You know, like, holy fuck. The amount be of pretty... beheading videos would be ridiculous. Right? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. would be so much. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that would be so much dude, bloody they stuff. Were dark times. Like it was yeah. only like two hundred ish years ago when everything was way like, worse. Awful. Like you're you're talking about like if you were alive two hundred years ago, at least one of your parents is dead. Like yeah. that's just unfucking question, dude. It's like you you would probably if you were a female, you'd have probably been pregnant from like early teens. Yeah, like pre twenties. So you dude. were like thirty yeah. plus or whatever, or however long you lived. It's like if you were lucky enough to work, you probably had to like do the worst, most back breaking manual labor that is yeah, unknown I, I'm, to us with I'm, like yeah. no fair pay or anything like that. Like it would have been a videos. truly horrifying time. Yeah. Back really in the day, bro, I mean, did you have to share a shit bucket with your family, or did each person get their own? You know, I mean, you would shit in the river, bro, you know? I, that's yeah, what I did back, back in the Back village, in the day, you know, in yeah. London, they would just go and chuck it right out the window, right? That's where I've seen, <laughs> yeah. would you oh, go, yeah. Rams, your turn, or would you each have your own? No, I mean, and would you only empty it when it's half full? Like, what would be the guidance on that, right? That, that would fuck me up. Yo, no, dude, I, no, I would literally keep looking up at the sky every time I walk out. Oh, bro. You know, I'm just like, yo, man, are they throwing this shit? <laughs> are they throwing? Are they throwing? Around, I'm like, you know, one of those, one of those know, hits, you're getting in... four times of diseases, you know? Instantly. Yo, yo, you'd be like, oh, I think PETA shits in like two hours, so I think we're good. Oh, <laughs> just walk. Hey, straight up, dude, like, like, I recently came out of hospital, right? Like, it was only like a month and a half, two months ago now. I'm telling you right now, if I was born back then, or even probably 50 years ago, you would have ago, to adjust, you know, dude. I, I would have died. Like, I would not have made it through. <laughs> like, like right not now. a chance in hell, dude. Like, no fucking way. Yeah. You know? Honestly, like, my chance of surviving really times. might have been a little low and, like, there. It, it's an interesting thing that happens to us as a society and humans where we're actually in, like, the greatest era <laughs> of peace and just, like, greatness that our fucking existence... Like, and, I guess our, overall positivity, like, we, we know. you know? I guess overall yeah, positivity. Like, but, but the interesting thing is that during the times when are actually the best times that they've ever been, it, it's like things can't just be good. Like there's always something which isn't good, or even if it's just like people's mentalities, like the complaining and like <clears throat> this and that. It's like you almost like need that negativity. Some people do at least to just yep. be able to like function. Yeah, it's a yeah. really mm -hmm. really bizarre but interesting you, thing. You wanna yeah, you almost, wanna yeah go ahead. You're almost describing social media. Like, yeah, it's not just flowers and uh, babies born on social media. People want that like drama. And drama, stuff, dude, I guess. They do. People Ever, tear like, each other down just to tear someone down. It's just, yeah, yeah, it's just to fulfill their own egos, it. man. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you want to get into another, uh, kind of like, uh, existential, you know, thought here. Like, what if, 
So you know, you know how like we're saying, yeah, back in the day it was worse, right? Like in terms of, uh, you know, just oh, a no, feeling, they were right? Probably pretty happy. Like they're right? probably happier right? than now. But like, you know? but like, but like, think about it this way: what if, what if our, you know, every human uh, back th- even back then, right? We're we're all relatively the same. How much we how much we can express ourselves in in, in different emotions is the same level, right? What if it's just kind of like different set of low, you know what I mean? The same level of feeling, right? It's just different times and different experiences, right? If that makes sense. And like, and like, well, yeah. so like you can measure like overall productivity. Sure. That's like something you can kind of quantify. But what about our overall mental fe- state of mind though? You know, from now to back then, right? I, I imagine yeah. it's probably just the same, right? For example, um, you can't always be happy because when you're a hundred percent happy, and then when you when you start experiencing something negative, you don't understand what that even is anymore, right? If that makes sense. Yeah. Like like yeah. so, so like why why did like if we're you know we're living good lives we're living of like you know in terms of if you're measuring uh productivity how productive we are et cetera how long we can live but it's it's better right but like for some reason we're still looking for drama you know we still actively look for drama it's like it's like all of us even back then are all kind of like. Quantif- you know, trying to meet all these I- I- emotional needs, right? And they'll do whatever it takes to get it, naturally speaking, right? So, like, we're living a great life, but for some reason, we're still, you know, trying to cause drama and trying to, like, talk shit to people and, like, make people feel sad, right? To make ourselves feel, like, better, right? Like, it's, like, it's so hard to explain, but I just have a feeling it that was- it's the same even back then, right? Like, we all want the same happiness and we're all derived the same level. We're all We'll all get, like, potentially up to the same level of happiness or potentially up to the same level of anger or potentially the same level of love you know but like the only difference i think is that now we can measure other things like how long we can live we can live longer uh we can live probably you know okay healthier i guess we can do more things now we can travel more but does that mean that we're all we were happier right now versus like i think think People I think that, back yeah, then, dude, right? I think that, like, yeah. back then... I don't know. I think so that I people like, right. were way more grateful. I think that there mm-hmm. were way more bad times than there were good times. Mm-hmm. So, having an experience like playing Conquers or Marbles with your brother or sister yeah. was a great time. Like, that exactly. was something that was to be cherished, because that shit didn't mm-hmm. happen all the time. Right. Yeah. And I, I think also, like, bearing in mind, like, as a society as a whole, it, it's like things have slightly changed, but not a great deal in the sense of like, as a man, it, it's like you're not really, or at least I was, I was always taught to um like harbor my emotions, and it's like don't cry. So like, why not? Why why yeah. not cry? Like crying actually feels fucking great. Like if you can actually allow yourself to feel that vulnerable or talk about things that are hard to speak about, like. That's a crazy concept that's still happening in 2020. I can guarantee that there are parents, there are people that had hard lives. And this is the thing. Like, people are complicated. People have shit lives. It's just life. Like, it's horrible. It's horrendous what some people go through. And the sad thing is, is that a lot of that stuff gets passed down, right? It's like if you were taught as a child very strictly that you weren't to cry, you weren't to show like weakness or emotion because mm-hmm. apparently emotions weakness. It's like chances are you're gonna end up passing that somewhat down onto your son, you mm-hmm. know. And it's something which takes an incredibly like a either a very I don't know. It takes a certain type of person to be able to snap out of that or at least have those life experiences where they're like, actually, I don't agree with the way that that was taught to me. Yep. I think that that's wrong, or at least for me, it's not right. You know. Yeah. Um. And, to um, expand on that. If you, if, yeah. Go. Go for it. Uh, I, no. I. I. Uh, I overall agree, right? Because like I'm only playing devil's advocate in the sense that that there's probably a middle ground to it, right? Because like I'm talking, you know, this is like the most what I just said is probably the most opposite, right? To it, where like where I'm saying everybody's emotional uh like levels of needs are all the same throughout and they'll all experience it equally throughout time even though you know objectively we have a lot better statistics on you know on on like good things like health long-term living ability to travel stuff like that right so i do agree that back then people were probably more grateful because like you couldn't live that long right right like who you knew is probably just who you knew it's not like you can make another hundred friends 
in your lifetime because you have social media, right? So I agree. I mean, you know, I, I agree for the most part. I think obviously the middle ground here that I'm trying to conclude, conclude it is that while our lives are technically easier, right? Like we because we can live longer and all that stuff, right? And we don't have to worry about dying randomly uh, as often. I think I think while that is improving, our 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 mental like health though has has not been improving linearly proportionally with you know th- that advancement, right? If that makes sense, because yeah. like yeah. you know like the whole gratefulness thing. I don't think people are feeling as grateful as they they used to for sure because they don't you know they have all these other opportunities but they're like often dealing with external influences like social media constant social media ex- influences and i i think constant, it's honestly i think you know part of it is because people aren't exposed to such like harsh times like you would mm-hmm. be grateful for the things that yeah. you have if you never used to have them. If you're born into a life where you just have everything that you'd ever need and you never have to work for it, or, you know, it's just there. It's like, of course, you're going to you're gonna treat that completely different. Very true. To somebody who, who, you know, grew up very poor, and these things are an <clears throat> absolute luxury to have. So I, I think it's probably a case of, like, people, firstly, live longer, like you said. People probably have more time to like kind of dread and think and fear about things like death and so forth. Um, sorry, this is a bit of a, a mess yeah, with that. It is, it I, is. I, it I really is. think, I, I think that people, you know, it, it's like the, the worse or the hard, more harsh that you had it, a lot of the times like those people, and speaking from my own personal experience, it's like you appreciate shit a lot. I mean, I appreciate stuff a fucking lot. Like people, people value things differently, right? It, it's like, one of my best friends, right? One of my best friends in real life. He comes from a, a pretty wealthy family. And I remember when we were in school, he brought in a 50 pound note, which is the biggest, as far as I'm aware, like note that we have here in the UK, 50 pound note. And bro, I've seen one in my life. And it was when he brought it to school. Like, this is how rare these things are. Like people don't have 50 pound notes. Most of them are fake. Shops don't accept them and stuff like that. And like as a, at that age for me, like seeing that like fifty pound note, I was like, bro, that is like Christmas birthday. <laughs> that is like a year worth of fucking treats rolled into one fucking note. And like, it, it's like this. This is the thing. Like his way that he looks at money is a lot different from mine. Yeah, he's my best friend. We get on so fucking well, but we have completely different views on things just because of our personal experiences. And and the great thing is though, is that because we get on so well and we can be ourselves around each other, taught and learn ourselves. We've ta- taught and learned a lot from each other, right? So, like, I was kind of always like brought up and raised as like you know money's really tight all the time. It's like don't spend money, feel guilty for spending money and so forth. Whereas he was completely the opposite, and for me, it gave me a really good like balance of the two where it's like I can now spend money and I'm not going to hate myself for doing it. Um, but I also still have the understanding of what that money is worth, you know, mm. which is why I think it's always a good thing. And this is so everywhere, but like knowing people and having relationships with different people with different backgrounds is one of like the best things. And one of the most beneficial things you can do as a person is just knowing people even if they've got a completely different view on something to you it's like getting to know them Hmm. understanding that or at least trying to it's like you can learn a lot from it it's like if you stay with people who just have the same mindset mentality on everything you're not really gonna learn that much i would say in comparison you're probably gonna just sit in a bubble with your own thoughts yeah very true like you're not gonna learn too much about your your own self that well um like I was trying, like, I was trying to get into this, mm-hmm. I, uh, it's so hard to try to, like, put into words, but, like, this idea of, like, our, you know, our mental well-being, you know, right? Like, like back then, it was, it was probably focused a lot on survival, right? Just, just like, you know, living and doing as much as you can in that short time frame, because that's just how it is. You, you gotta let it all out before you die, because you weren't gonna, you're probably not gonna live that long. But in Latin, like, nowadays... I think we're not really doing that much better mentally uh, speaking 
in, in terms of survival, I guess. Like, me mental survival. Like, like, there's, like, the physical survival. We're really good at that now, right? We can, like, on average, live till, like, 70, 80, right? But, like, our, but, but I feel like our mental needs are so lacking, though, in, mm. in contrast to how long we live, you know? Right? Like, like I feel like people... Can you be a bit specific? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Like, yep. like the idea of, like, you know, personal, personal, like, fulfillment... Like what we should be doing in our lives, you know what I mean? Like the 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 need to always be, uh, you know, advancing ourselves further in whatever ways that we see fit. I, I like I I think a lot of the mental, like health of ours is it hasn't really, hasn't really gone that much better over the years, you know, like, like we are getting better physically, right? Because all this medicine, all this technological shit, but like, like our minds, how we view things. How people view things in general are just like still so so behind you know like like you said right being grateful seeing different perspectives and stuff i don't think many people i, I don't think i don't think that that type of um nourishing nourishing for like the brain kind of activity happens as often as it should right there's still so many people out there that are that are still so behind on that right they're just yeah. worrying about things that 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 you know in a way that may not may not be that important you know like to advance themselves right they're just kind of stuck worrying about like keeping their own bubbles closed you know preserving that yeah. bubble doing whatever it takes to preserve that that bubble your world right your personal worldview rather than like taking in this idea of like a international approach seeing it seeing every seeing it every other way right and there's like a I mean, conflict I between that you know between people, yeah. certain people that are like, I want to, I just wanted to keep my truths right to myself, and and I'll combat yeah. anything else that you know tries to get in it, right? The thing is, like, this that's is one why... part. That's one part of it. The other part is just also like mass social media, you know, all this idea of like changing jobs, constant, you know, constant need to validate your your own worth. Like, is my job worth it? Am I doing the right things? It's like. You know, am I pretty enough? Stuff like that, right? There's also all these other external factors that you normally probably don't face as much back in the day. So, like, I think I think mentally we have, I think that's a major hurdle we have to face more than our physical, uh, you know, hurdles. I think yeah. a big reason for all of that is because, to be completely honest with you, it's probably only been in the last 30 to 40 years where people have even fucking spoke about mental health. Yeah. Mate, like, no, that's true. Nobody that's used true. To, dude, if I, if I went up to my dad, right, and my dad's very old school, and I said to him, I'm struggling with my mental health, he'd be like, what the fuck is that? He's like, go to the doctors and get looked at. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, people don't know what the fuck it is. It's only been happening for, like, a short period of time. People don't know. Like, there, there's literally people alive now, like, like my dad, who don't even know what it means. You know, so it's like Yo, something boys. that we've only recently yeah. discovered. Yeah, the, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Like I'm once yeah, Rexy's done, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Once just, once Rexy's right done, up. I'm done. Pretty much. I'm, I, sorry. I, I, I'm done. All, all I'll say is, <laughs> listen. There's no shame at all, and you should be very proud of yourself for speaking about your mental health with people. And uh, if there are people in your life who don't want to hear it or they're not interested, then you should probably reevaluate exactly who the who's those people are and what they really mean to you. To be honest, because. If there's anyone out there that cares for you, they will listen, and it's very important to talk about boys. But yeah, I say we wrap it up. And, yeah, um, yeah. Yo, that, what should we use as a word for people who've watched the podcast this far? Uh, you guys can we are use here. strippers, dude, because we went from RuneScape to strippers to mental health. Oh, you can say VTubers, you know, like 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 or society or like civilization, you know. Society. <laughs> <I don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> dude, all right, boys, listen. If you've watched this far, society down in the comments. We hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, yeah. Murph. I'm sorry, man. I know we've kind of just been keeping you here hostage, but it was great to have you on, man. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for having me. Hey, Bye. look, man. It's it, Otherwise, me and, me and Ferb's probably in the Discord somewhere, so... That's true, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> we talk for hours sometimes, so... To be fair. Yeah, yeah. all right. Getting yeah. a bit tired. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna wrap up now. See you guys in another podcast in the future. Bye. Bye.